Oh, oh shit, I think we have this Nathaniel uh, in the uh, in the, the Discord voice. Hey, what's up, man? I don't know if you can hear me. I don't know if this is sort of what I was supposed to do or not. Yeah, no, that's fine. Channels. That's fine. No, like, I have a whole thing. Like, I, I, if Oh, if anybody joins the Discord voice, by the way, until I mention that you joined the voice, I'm, I didn't see you there, and I'm not paying attention. What's up? How you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm all right. I, I actually joined the wrong channel because somebody told me to join another one, which was live voice under your live show stuff channel. And oh, so yeah, I the, did, I did that. So we, so, we tried to yeah. do a discord stage and then no one mm -hmm. can figure it out. And so like, we just have oh. a wide open channel and now I have it like muted on a mixer most of the time. Okay. okay. So are, are okay. you Nathaniel? Nathan L actually is a thing. Yeah, I didn't think of that when I actually did the name. I thought it looked cool. Not, you have all in lowercase letters. We're not going to get bogged down on um, that too much. I I don't think so. But like, yeah, are you the most so. thoughtful person in my chat tonight? Well, uh, you know, I, I like to say, I, and I say so. You know, cause you, you need to sort of get enthusiasm for my thing. You know, we got to promote well, ourselves why, in why, some way. Why should I so be I enthusiastic about your thing? Shouldn't you be enthusiastic about my thing? <laughs> You're calling into my show. Well, Okay, but well, because I'm also a streamer, well, is, right? Is, so is, I'm. I mean, is your thing impressive? What? Well, I consider it impressive. I mean, I'm, I don't have an impressive following yet. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty you recent. Well, well, you can I get like, up in my DMs later. Maybe your thing is impressive. Maybe it's not. Uh, I don't. It's just that was going to be your opinion. I, I like my thing. I like my policies. My point is, that I think my policies are better than other policies that I'm seeing. You know, you elsewhere. Want, do you want so to talk I want about to, policy? Yeah, I mean, I, it's basic stuff, right? It's not, it's not well, very, no, I'm, like, I'm not what, what, a political like, scientist, so... Well, I'm not a political scientist either. You've been observing mm -hmm. the show for a while. Do you think I'm a political scientist? Well, I, I can't necessarily know, you know, but like... Uh, That's funny, actually, my not, degree, you're, you're I have that, a degree like, in political science, but I'm like a... Like oh, a, so, you, like, so you do. <laughs> but I'm like, a, I'm like 44 years old, and I got my master's degree when I was in my early 20s, so I'm like a systems administrator <laughs> now. You're talking to a person okay. who types into a terminal right. for other people's businesses. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Well, you so, can still well, say well, you are. Right? I mean, you got do the degree. Talk about if you're a policy wonk, I'll talk about a neat set of policies. Can you figure out why my wife okay, well, is doing this anyway? Uh, what do you? I didn't. I didn't hear just the last thing you said. Oh, like a webcam. Oh, I'm or just something? mad at my webcam. <laughs> Oh, okay. And yeah, I'm not showing my own thing because it, it's like it's not working properly. So I, I'm sorry. Well, I'm not showing myself. If you did it in Discord, uh, it wouldn't matter yeah. anyway. But like. Okay. And don't show me okay. your thing on the show. That's a violation of TOS. My what? What thing do you mean by thing? Never mind. What policy do you want to talk about? <laughs> um. Uh. Anything. Well, I could just say basically what I'm about, and I, I would say that. So fundamentally, I what I'm to hoping to get policy. is more. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But what I mean okay. is that uh, it's it's a very simple set of policies that aren't really being uh, much advocated for currently. Uh, my thing, and this is why it's unique, I'm calling it sort of L-ism based on this fake last name of the Nathan L. And uh, Wait, I so ask it's, you before, um, are you, I know you're, if you are doing this, you're not going to answer my question. You'll lie to me, but are you taking the piss? No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, if, I mean, I, I guess I, w I would be <laughs> lying to you if I, if I was, but I mean, I'm not. Yeah, no, I, I'm not. Why? Yeah, no. Let's get it. It was just um, fun. So, so... So anyway, what I my, my thing is about f fundamentally it's about globalism, it, not even just globalism, but universalism. So it's it's Wait, really are you a globalist uh, uh, above all. Science. Yes, yes, uh, oh, a full me too. globalist. Me too. Yeah, I agree with. Okay, you. well, good, well, good. I like people t complain about globalism, and I what I would actually want to contend a uh, retort to this is actually. The, the thing that people are complaining about when they're complaining about global is not it's not proper globalism because people still are but subjected to no limitations and movements of borders. Do you know about logical fallacies? Oh, you mean like the no true Scotsman? Is well, that, that what would you're be the about? no true globalist, right? That, yeah, so the equivalent of a no true a, a no true Scotsman <laughs> fallacy, but uh, for for globalism, uh, no, I, I don't think so because there there are lots of um, there, there are lots of ways in which the current supposedly globalist society is not at all globalist. I mean, we've got huge restrictions on of movement of individuals, wait, right? Wait, uh, so I mean, any proper guy? globalism. Yeah, yeah, okay, absolutely. Too good. That's for right, me cool. is globalism. Okay, right, yeah, cool. uh, but um, it, it's true that I do think that would be you know somewhat problematic. Uh, to see, like, you know, the four billion poorest people, for instance, immigrate into, you know, the countries that currently hold the one billion richest people. Well, I mean, wait, what I think wait, would wait. be better would just be... Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I mean, uh, if it all happened at once, it would be a logistical problem, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, a moral problem? 
I don't know. No, not a moral problem. No, not a moral problem, but a, a logistical problem. Maybe also just because I kind of like sort of low population density places. I like kind of the wilderness and stuff. So just just from that perspective, oh, you know, I just don't. Could you could you so, imagine that I like a lot of population density? Could you could you imagine that? Uh, sure, sure. I mean, I'm okay with there being like play. I'm all. I also like lots of population density. I mean, I also like you know visiting big cities and stuff like that. I mean, I you know it's it's not so much. I don't mind it all that much, but I can I can just understand why people would you know think it's problematic if you have a huge rush of things. Which is why, in any case, what I'd want is to equalize uh, economic levels uh, between different places first before you know just what, have what, a little while where you equalize. Wait, hold equalize, on. Like I have to ask, what, what do you mean between? Be- equalize economic well, levels you know, like what like you know gdp per capita like you make the gdp per capita become more similar between different countries and once there's a certain amount of somewhat similarity then then you open the borders and so that was there's there's less of a differential wait. that would drive immigration wait yeah what? What, that, tell me what it's not what that you i didn't i didn't oh. understand Oh, wh- what I mean is Maybe that I, I would want policies. Well, no, I don't. I don't think so. I, I, I want like policies. I, I would want policies that first help bring up the poorer countries and maybe you know even if it means like stalling the growth of richer countries so that all countries are at a more similar gdp per capita than they're now like right now there's huge d- disparities between countries of like the the gdp per capita you see what i mean and so what i'd want is first there to to be certain global policies that would help bring up the poor countries first so there's less of a difference between the poor countries and the rich countries and then you open the borders and that way that makes the, that makes the whole open borders things more palatable to all the conservatives who are afraid of having mass immigration so i want to maybe go back a little bit <laughs> when you said that you were the most reasonable person in the chat yeah i also say that i'm the most rational person on earth <laughs> like do, do, you, do you know that like most people think that the decisions that they make are rational. Yeah, yeah, of, of course, of course. Uh, but are like, you open to the I, idea yeah. that you have made irrational decisions in your life? Oh, of course, I've made irrational decisions. I, I don't deny it. I, I didn't say uh, entirely rational. I just said the most rational now overall on on the sort of major well, sort imagine, of imagine imagine thinking big, about the world issues. for a while if you could imagine mm-hmm. that you've thought about the world for a while and you've come to the decision yeah. that you're <laughs> one of the most rational people on the planet Could you see uh-huh. why maybe other people uh-huh. might think that you might just have delusions of grandeur if you've come to that decision of, of about the way that you look at the world of course of course but like i you know i could have come up with that idea a long time ago i didn't i actually basically even felt the opposite i felt inadequate i didn't feel particularly like unique and and anything and i still in most ways i still don't like i i i'm untalented in most uh in most uh, you know domains and stuff i i, mean, I recognize I'm, I'm completely mediocre in all sorts of no i sort of you know are, i do are you a bit, good plumber few drawings and stuff oh no, i'm not and i and well, i are don't you a good uh, claim mechanic? i am no, I don't claim I am. See, you that's said my that you point. Were talented I, if I was, in most domains, I just thought of a few domains. No, I, untalented, untalented. Oh, oh okay. Then I, I acknowledge. Wrong. I acknowledge that I'm untalented in most domains, and uh, th- this is sort of also my point: wrong. is that just one in one specific domain, I I sort of make this claim, and I know I, what, I know it can wait, sound wait, wait, somewhat ludicrous. You do this, what domain are you going to make a claim in? The, the domain of rationality. The domain of but rationality. That's not how you decide uh, about even, everything. Like, but wait a minute, hold wisdom. on. Isn't isn't wisdom. rationality? Yeah, yeah. Isn't like the the version of rationality mm-hmm. that you might give me? How you decide how mm-hmm. everything else in the world is true? I guess my my, my idea. Uh, maybe it's not. It could be rationality or the word wisdom. It's to me. It's it's pretty similar. And the the way I would define it is basically having ideas that best correspond to to the way things actually work and to the way to, to the ideas that one should have to actually benefit to benefit the, the world. So the, so that, that's kind of like how I would define it, but it's kind of, it, it's true. It's kind of, it's kind of difficult. Um, but, uh, that, that is, maybe, maybe, uh, that maybe is the, sort the thing of what that I mean said, that. Like kind of defining it is kind of difficult. It might be like why we don't make these sort of broad claims about how rational yeah, uh, we are. 
I know, I know. I think I think it's useful. I, I like this idea, and you, you'll be seeing. You noticed on chat, for instance, that there's um, you know, lots of animosity to be directed towards oh, me. Oh yeah, because and this is because way, like, yes. check this out. Like the way most people are going to react if you tell them mm -hmm. that you're rational and that they're not is they're going to think <laughs> you're a dick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, sure. But think, notice, notice also all the other dicks that have actually been extremely successful politically. Look at uh, Hitler. Mussolini, oh, uh, no. look, look at um, <laughs> right, but yeah, yo. yeah, 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 no, but, yeah, oh, no. yeah, but wait, but wait, but wait, <laughs> this is uh, let me let me get to my point. Look at these people nowadays, that like Putin, Duterte, well, I mean, Donald dead. Trump, you know, Hitler and Mussolini are yeah, dead. No, I think one of Trump, them killed Trump, themselves. Donald Trump, Donald Trump, uh, narcissistic I mean, asshole. He's gonna okay? die. Of, well, he'll, he'll die of Big Mac soon, I think. <laughs> yeah, but, but wait that, a minute, that's beyond like, the point. Like, yeah, just like getting ahead. My point, yeah, that's like not really like a like a virtuous thing. Just getting ahead, like but no, it, just getting ahead. If you've got a policy that actually benefits people, is a virtuous thing, and that is why I'm engaging in what I call I'm calling stylistic fascism. It's stylistic fascism, um, and th this is th Whoa. this is it, part part of my Whoa. my whole thing. Okay stylistic fascism to generate more enthusiasm among the masses. You notice how all these, you know, these people that generate lots of enthusiasm, they seem to be fascists. Well, how about we wait adopt some of these no. this sort of rhetoric? Um, but wait a well, minute. Look, I, can, can stylistic I just, like, fascism, just, not, not, not policy. stop this okay, for go, just go. a minute? Like, sure, sure, sure. What the fuck? Stylistic, not, not, not policy. Okay. <laughs> not st that, that, Again, stylistic, it's a, a quote of stylistic fascism on a core of something that's very much anti-fascist, okay? Like, um, I think, it, does that kind of make more sense? Maybe? Do, do, you, see, do, you, see, do you see what I mean? <laughs> no. Do, do you see? No, because I don't think that there's okay. like, a, okay. <clears throat> I don't think that there's a big difference between messaging and policy. I think well, that... Well, if, that, yeah, but... I think that we live in a world where messaging and policy are so inex like you mm -hmm. cannot divorce messaging and policy. And so I think of, that of it's, course. I think that it's like really important that your messaging not be fascistic. Lest you attract a bunch but of fascists message... and they implement a fascist policy. <laughs> Yeah, but my point is I'm extremely clear about my policies, like that I, I'm all about policy. And so my, my point is that my policies are basically that they're conservative nightmare. OK, uh, imagine a global society with and then I haven't even talked about the economic thing, right? a universal basic income, uh, a wealth cap. Right. Um, th this is this is everything that they hate. OK, this is everything I, 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 that they on, hate. So I've, hold I've got on. Find, I, don't, I don't mean to um, like okay. I don't mean to like talk over you, but yeah, are you serious? Yes, I am absolutely serious. I'm absolutely serious. This, this is not a joke. I, I, this know not that's joke. Like, I know that's rude and kind of insulting, but I like have a responsibility to the people who watch this show, few as they may be. They are few, but they are powerful. And if I didn't stop a couple times to ask if you were serious, they would accuse me of this being uh -huh. a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah of course. No, 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 no. I mean, I understand. I understand. This is your I, I new understand. roommate, no, this, I'm Dave. absolutely serious. I mean, I, I'm absolutely. I mean, you can look. I've already been been streaming for a couple months. You can you can look at all the stuff I've been saying. You can look at my YouTube channel. You can. Oh, you yeah, know what? I've been gonna, saying always gonna, the same stuff regularly. You can go in the chat and be like bang so in your chat name or your Twitch name. But if any of my mods like shout out your Twitch channel, I will take away their moderator status. <laughs> okay. Oh, Wait, you know what's really so, fun that we're gonna do. I'm oh, going to walk away okay. and you're going to tell people about your ideology while I fill my drink. You get to talk uninterrupted on my channel. It's just convenience for me. <laughs> it's, it seems oh, okay. to me like you're the kind of guy who will talk until I get back. All right. Yeah. I'm actually not very much a talker. I'm like literally like, uh, have very much social troubles because I, I never have anything to say except about this. But, um, yeah. Um, all right. All right. Let's go. Let's uh, talk about this. So economically I support, a basic income, universal basic income. Uh, what I've more or less come to the conclusion is that we could afford globally, cur at the current level of, of economic productivity, 
uh, a UBI of that would amount to purchasing power in the United States of 800 US dollars a month. Um, so this is um, this is more or less what we could achieve. I think 800 dollars a month. That would be enough, in fact, to uh, achieve, uh, you know, to be able to uh, ensure that a person is able to lead a, de a decent life. Uh, you can buy food and pay for uh, rent with, with $800. Again, rent is in some places expensive. That is because uh, those places are high in demand, typically, that there's lots of demand and not enough housing being built. So the, the way to, to solve that is to limit um, zoning restrictions on housing to build more housing so that the prices go down and also well if you're content to live on basic income you can also just move to a place that is cheaper and where her program will be lower um th then you you again you, you can have uh rent with 800 dollars. again the reason rent is more expensive is because that they're because of um definitely even in developed countries there are plenty of places where rent is lower than that rent is why because of uh, lack of lack of supply typically, and uh, so th this is this is uh, this is why this happens. If, if we reduce like zoning laws, uh, then 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 rent will be fine, and you can move to wherever rent is cheaper. Also, so that that is the sort of two ways you address that. Healthcare, of course, then that is a big issue that costs a lot. It would uh, obviously would require paying quite a bit if you're just paying for it in health insurance. I think everybody should oh, have proper health care. Can I stop you uh, now that I'm back with a fresh drink? Oh, sure, sure. Do you think sure. we should all pay taxes sure. and everybody should have health care? Yes, sure. Okay, sure. cool. Uh, so what I wanted to, what I wanted to so, do, like, yeah. I had this thought before okay. I got up, and, like, mm -hmm. I, I, like, don't think you're a bad guy. You don't seem like a bigot. But, like, you know how you've kind of thought deeply about, like, these sort of political issues? Uh-huh. Um, if you could do us all a favor and start to think a little more deeply about music, art, culture. Um, yeah, music, art, oh, and culture. Okay. Like, like, no, I'm serious. It would be... What? it would be it would be important like i think the the people <laughs> that that i know and i think maybe the people that you know that you think are smart have thought about the these other things like how does how does pop culture influence our politics you know it's it okay. seems like superfluous and if you're like super like interested in politics and like the the theory and the mechanisms of politics maybe you don't think about these things but these things have so much more impact than than and i think that from what i'm listening to you then than you than you've thought about and it seems like you like to think about things <clears throat> and maybe these aren't things that you're that interested in but you know just for us maybe think deeply about okay. how how cardi b influences the political structure of the united states or whatever i know it sounds silly but that person has way more followers than i do you know Mm -hmm. sure sure there's lots there's loads of influence uh, i'm still not necessarily convinced there's all that much they have all that much impact on on actual politics i mean we see that there are all these people do, do you really it seems to me that we've had quite a few decades of kind of lots Yo, of fun like i'm do, a do, gay do really, man I, I don't know i'm a gay man i want to ask okay. you do you think okay that people thinking deeply about whether or not it was okay to be gay had more influence on why gay marriage passed or will and grace which was on right after friends okay that that's a fair point yeah okay i was i was like I was no i'm more at, about like, like this is why this is why, this is why this stuff like tires me out and i'm yeah, not you're, like, you're right no, no, I'm not you're trying right, to be right. i'm about not trying to be stuff. shitty or trying to tell you that i know things that you don't no, know no, or no, whatever, no. but it's just like of course like, I agree. The the rest of the stuff that's happening in the world around you shapes the politics of the world around you. <laughs> it's not. No, I I agree. Hey, I I agree with you. Um, I, I was thinking more about tax policy. I was like thinking like how how are these like artists actually influencing people's opinion on like specific taxes and stuff? And I'm like, but okay, yeah, but that's yeah, like, uh, again, like, that's not like how it works. Of gay, it, they they have like an impact on it, people's yeah. lives and the way they view the world. And then that's applied yeah, to no, something it, like true. a tax law. I know it's not like yeah, a, uh, you can't like dr like it's not a thing that you draw like a direct line. There's no flow chart or whatever, but it, it, it's it's important and true, true. No, I, I agree. Of course, of course, there's impact. Of course, of course, it'll be more indirect for for that kind of stuff. But yes, there's also indirectly. Though. 
Yes, there's, and, and that is that brings me back, of course, to to the stylistic fascism that I'm talking about. What I mean by no, stylistic fascism? No, I'm just is, giving you. No, I'm just, just going to stop you right What I mean there. is a I personality. Like if, Wait, if like what if I mean, the people on Will and Grace me, were dressed in SS outfits and telling you to accept gay no, marriage, I would have no, been no, against no, no, no. that. That that that's not what it's not about dressing in SS outfits. What what I well, mean? Can we call is it that, something what else? What I mean by the fascism? Could okay, we call no, it something? Do, do you can we what? just, for the sake of this conversation, could we find another thing to call it, and then you explain it to me? Because okay, uh, how about how about how about cult of personality? How about we do oh, that? Cult of you personality? Know, like, you, you no, know, like, no. We make fun of Jordan Peterson around here. Could we call it something else? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You, you ca- could call, we say, it, call it could whatever. We say, I, I don't um, know. Just could we say messaging? <laughs> Proper messaging yeah, for but your ideas. Could we say that instead? Yeah, but the messaging, but I like to explain what kind of messaging is very different from maybe your idea of proper messaging. And precisely, messaging is this this sort of fascist like cult of personality. Yo, but it's not fascist yo, in SS form. No, it's what, what I, I mean, don't what care. I mean, like, what I, I mean just, is like, precisely like, becoming like, no, you've like come a star, into a space, like, uh, like you've come into a space it, it, where we do like a Cardi, whole show like about cults and cults of personality yeah. and why they're bad. We did it on Thursday, like Cardi. Cardi B is a like Cardi, celebrity. Okay? Like that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Is being becoming a sort of a person that makes you enthusiastic. Like maybe like JFK. Okay, if you don't, if you prefer I mean, a sort of more JFK? nice. Uh, it depends thing. who you ask, actually. <laughs> okay, yeah. got abducted by aliens. <laughs> look, uh, look. Anyway, um, look. Um, this is this is what I mean, right? Somebody who uh, all I mean is like a, something that like G- Gandhi, Nelson Mandela. That's what I mean by cult of personality. Okay, this is what this is also like what I mean. Y- you see. This hold is on, hold not on. just you uh, mentioned Cardi B. I have to be like wet ass p word. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Here's another All one. Right. Hold on. All the things are bad. There are no good things. I said certified freak seven days a week. One more time. Yeah, you effing with some wet ass p word. P word is female genitalia. All right, go ahead. <laughs> All right. All right. I haven't heard Ben say that actually. I, I knew about I saw like his video on this, but I didn't actually I didn't watch it. So so thank you. Thank you for this. That was funny. <laughs> um also the funny thing that he, he apparently doesn't n- know about the sort of idea of wetness, <laughs> which I thought I thought was funny. And people and people also noted that it was, it was quite funny. Um so 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 yeah. So um wh- where was I? Th- this is all I'm meaning, okay? Like I- if we can accept that there are people like like you know, people that we like, like Gandhi and Nelson Mandela that had, you know, a sort of generated enthusiasm. Well, y- but you could also a- a- adopt elements of you know, because fascism kind of did that too. So you just adopt the completely neutral aspects, you know, the, the stuff that is actually okay. The stuff that where you show, it's, it's about sharing your life, you know, with, with people and stuff. It's, you know, for instance, it's about kind of, you know, showcasing yourself in a particular way so as to, you know, so that people, you're not just a boring politician, okay? That, that's kind of, that was kind of my point. That's what I mean by stylistic fascism. It's maybe not the best choice of words, but <laughs> um, that, that that is all I mean, okay? It's not um, about like, I don't mean wearing SS uniforms, okay? That's not what I mean. I mean, you can't Definitely get them not. anymore, or if, if you could, they'd be like, you'd have to buy them on the black market. They'd be quite expensive. Yeah, yeah, but I, so, I don't mean that in any case. <laughs> what what kind of, what, what policy? Uh, are you in the United States? No, I, I'm like, I have an American passport. I've like, I've no, never, I'm, lived, I've like, like I'm been in asked, my territory. Okay, yeah. you're not in the United States, so like maybe us talking I'm not about policy. located. Wouldn't. You're where? I'm not, I'm not located, you know, I've got, I've got U.S. passport, I've never lived I'm there, not so that's, that, if, if that, if that makes sense to you, I mean, I, I don't, I don't belong to anywhere, really, I'm living in New Zealand right now, it's not my country, hey, it's, wait it's a just minute. a place, you know. Did you, did you call a tr- trans woman it? I, I call, I call all people it sometimes, uh, yeah, people I mean, bring this like, up, they bring this minute. up to make me, like, like, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, if I called somebody the N-word, <laughs> And somebody was like, hey, you just said the N-word. And I said, you know what? I call all people that sometimes. There's like a different definition <laughs> yeah. when you call a trans person an it. than if you just called me an it, I'm like a cis white man. I'm like gay as fuck. But like, there's like a connotation there. <laughs> yeah, except, except that, uh, again, I don't, I don't do it. I didn't do it any, uh, all related to uh, specifically for being a trans. I call a bunch of people it sometimes. Um uh, I'm Wait, not are, are those people that are beneath not, you in the pecking order, or is it just kind of anybody? 
Oh, anybody, anybody, myself. Yes, uh, if I'm referring myself to sort of it, it, just people in general, I might be sort of, uh, yeah, like if I'm talking about myself in the third person, which of course is not usually the case, but um, yeah, I, I, I like it. Uh, yeah, country folk called babies it regularly. Yeah, exactly. You, you I would do. call I, a baby I, in it. Like, I think it's okay to call a baby in it. Maybe I'll get canceled for that, but it's okay to call it. Yeah, um, so, so. Hey, hold on. I, I just want to ask if it's okay. What country are you in? Right now I'm in New Zealand. I was, I was born oh, cool. in Geneva, Switzerland. I've got, you know, I sort of all over the place. This is also why nationalism to me is just absurd. It's just like, yeah, it's, it's silly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so th this whole thing is people trying to demonize me for, for silly things. Wait, I, I, we, I don't, uh, like, I, I, I think I like, I think that you're like misguided and that you haven't thought very okay. deeply about like, uh, issues around culture, but I don't know. I don't believe in demons, so it's kind of hard to demonize okay. you. Well, you, you know what I mean, right? That the word doesn't no, actually I mean like, like, I like turning. Like, I feel like I'm just telling you. I feel like I'm being very fair. I'm not trying to demonize you at all. I just think you're no, wrong. I, I don't, no, I don't think you are. I don't think you are. I, I'd say other people, you know, sort of <laughs> participants on uh, Twitch chats. Also, just so um, you know, like I've come here yeah. in bad faith with the intent of deprogramming you. What? You you want to deprogram me? What? Yeah, I would like to deprogram you if, if at all possible. Would you allow me to deprogram you? You think some of the things you're saying no. are fucking bonkers. Wait, so you, what, what do you mean by deprogramming me? Do you want to somehow, you're going to report me or something to No, no, to I'm, chat just gonna to... like, I'm just going to like change the way you think. It'll be easy probably. If I really oh, oh that's what I mean. I thought, yeah, no, I was thinking deprogram like in the sense of like deplatform, you know, like I, I was on the program and now I'm no longer going to be on the, the oh, program. Eventually you, know? you won't be on this program yeah. anymore. I mean, the chat's eventually going to get bored with you. Okay. Well, but, uh, but okay. no, like, I'm why sorry you, to hear this. Like, but, see, like I mean, why do you why do you <sighs> care whether or not you're more rational than other people? I guess, like, why did why is that important? Because it's not so much important for me. It's important for other people. Because as a rational person, it's, why is it's it my duty for to other help. people if you're more rational than it's, them. It's, it's my duty to uh, to impart my wisdom to to other people. You know what? I've changed my mind. I'm probably not going to be able to deprogram you. Yeah, no, you won't, because I'm the most rational person. <laughs> I, if any, I'm trying to deprogram you. This is my oh, whole point. I'm here oh, to you, deprogram If you're you. right, I think if you were right and I'm wrong, you'd be able to like convince me that you're right and I'm wrong. Yeah, but if I was nope. right and you were uh, wrong, I don't think I'd be able to convince you of it, you know? That's the impression that I'm getting here. Look, look, that, that, I don't think that's relevant. Some people, you know, some people are well, like I resistant mean, to, to changing like, their minds. People get to decide that on their own, right? Like if I, if you're like, oh, you know, this and this, and I'm like, well, that's not relevant. Was that my, really my decision to make? Look, I, I, in any case, this isn't really particularly necessarily interesting. I prefer to talk about policy because policy, oh, these basic policy fundamental like policies are really what's, what's important. Well, we, uh, already I was talking about that, my tax policy. So I think that that would, that is really what the is most, you, maybe what, the most interesting. Is, can you give unique. us your tax policy in like a minute or less? I'll try to speed through it, but it's the, hard the to explain it stroke, properly. And so stroke. basic income, basic income, basic income for everyone, ev the same globally. Everybody gets the same basic income globally, except for kids who get somewhat less, uh, you know, to be de to determined. Uh, uh, wealth cap, uh, so that literally you can't have more than a certain amount of money. Right, but uh, like, basic like income, when, okay, uh, hold on. I, I'm just going to stop you. Right? I know this may sound rude or whatever. Okay. Like if I talk about policy, I'm not like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to give you like what I think the utopia would look like. Like, oh, okay, like but to, that is what I'm. I would like to see, look, like, I would like to see every fourth police officer replaced with a social worker. So when the police go into situations that. where someone might be having uh, mental health issues, they have people available to them to bring with them to the situation so that maybe that situation doesn't get escalated to violence. I'm not thinking like, mm -hmm. oh, everybody sure. on the world on the planet should get a check for seven hundred dollars a month or whatever. <laughs> like, it seems it seems like too big and too broad and too like blue sky. Yeah, but again, this is the thing. It's sort of this, re you know, this pessimism, uh, the cynicism in the name of uh, you know realism. I will defend uh, cynicism. I, I disagree with it. Cynic, uh, you seen what the seen, seen how skepticism went? I'll defend cynicism. Thank you very much.
I, I think I think we can aim for better things. I mean, look look how many people here on Twitch are like Marxists and stuff, with Marx precisely aiming for a super utopian society. I, I don't agree with everything that of Marx. I, I disagree with quite a few things, but I agree with that that idea to really strive for utopia. You should absolutely. We are already in many respects living in something that was completely unimaginable and utopian for for people a few centuries back. Why should we not sort of? Uh, you know, try to Hold achieve on. something Ezekiel, better. Ezekiel, not Ezekiel, Ezekiel, thanks for the follow. I hope you like the kitty. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, no, um, like, yeah. Why should like that's like like when I talk to people about policy, like they, usually they're other Americans, right? But they'll be mm -hmm. talking about like mm -hmm. a certain bill or whatever that's going on, like yeah, see, that doesn't interest the rich me. and it's giving to the poor. Yeah, of course everyone wants that except for the rich, but it turns out they have all the power. So then, what do you do? You know? Yeah. Yeah, like, what do you but do except then that not when the rich people have the, all the power, what do you do? Because the rich, the, the problems that the rich are are basically brainwashing lots of the non-rich into I into don't think wanting people are the rich to stay rich. Like again, like this is think, like a thing that like I, I, I like disagree with a lot of idealists on. Okay. I think that people who okay. disagree with me have their own agency and have come up to come to their decisions on their own. I just think that they're wrong yeah. because they disagree with me. It's not that they're wrong because they disagree with me. It's that the reason I think that they're wrong is that they disagree with me. But I don't think they've been brainwashed. No. Some people do end up in cults um, and shit, like Scientologists or the QAnon people. Sure, those people, elements of brainwashing and um, like undue influence tactics have been used on those people. But I don't think everybody's brainwashed. That's not the problem with the fuck. world. <laughs> But kind of that the media absolutely influences public opinion. People I mean, get, get I am brainwashed a media into trying to influence public opinion, and I feel like you shouldn't come at me like that on my own show. No, no, it, it influences it. It can influence it for evil or for good. You're maybe influencing but, it for but good. That comes okay? back to the so, thing that I was saying earlier about whether or not you're rational or people are irrational or whatever. You, you like, yeah, but then you accept you've, anything. You've thought, you've thought a lot point, about this idea of being rational and thinking things through, but. Uh -huh. Here you are, like saying the media is having this undue influence on people. And a little while ago, I was telling you, you know, you're not. It doesn't seem like you're taking uh -huh. in the culture enough into like what you're saying. Like I, I well, uh, I feel like I feel like like uh, I just feel like the kind of the the way that you think about rationality, the way it seems to me, the way that you think about rationality and being logical. Start think about pop culture and how that affects everyone else. I just think it's like the thing it's the missing piece from from your being more rational than everyone else. I think I think I am thinking about it. I'm I'm literally thinking about how how can I become more successful and precisely thinking about pop culture. How how do celebrities they gain their celebrity status? How how are oh, they? Oh, you know what, what they makes do? They popular? do exactly what so, I'm doing. Can't you tell? And what what do you mean by that? <laughs> what what what? Oh, your sarcasm detector well, needs some work too. Yeah, I, I'm not good We're at that. We're obviously I know. famous I'm, I'm here. Not, There's I, 52 I, I, I people that. watching my Twitch channel. Yeah, no, I, I'm not good at sarcasm. I, you see, I, I'm not talented at many things. I completely acknowledge that I'm not, mm. you know, not particularly good at sarcasm. Um, I, I well, don't know for yeah. sure. I don't know. If, I don't know for sure. But um, I feel like if you examine pop culture the way that mm. you examine reason and rationality. I think your sarcasm detector mm -hmm. would probably uh, become better. Well, the thing is that you know I, I've been you know subjected to sarcasm already in you know just in my environment, right? At school, you know, th there's lots of it all the time. I'm just a bit slow. I mean, usually I get it, but sometimes I need to. Sometimes right, I don't but, immediately realize it. But, but, but I'm then, I, I but don't. The, but hold I on, mean, like mm -hmm. then, like if you're slow to recognize sarcasm, and you come into mm -hmm. like our space. And you tell everybody else that they're not rational like you are or whatever. What if everybody was just doing everything they were doing up until that point sarcastically? And you just couldn't detect kinda, it because you can't detect it. sarcasm. Like uh, because, no, because I'm not I'm not that bad. I mean, I, I'm not sort of, you know, the typically like, you know, more autistic spectrum levels. Hey, of man. Hey, you know what? I detecting. just want to stop you right there. There are people in my community what? who I mean, that, are. No, there are people in my community who are autistic. And like, that's you know, of course, I'm not disparaging. I, they're my, my cousin's like not, autistic, like, you know, like it's kind of not relevant. No, I, I'm just because, because, no, I feel it kind of is simply because that is the sort of typical uh thing that will make you very, uh, like particularly bad at detecting uh, a sarcasm. And uh, so, I, I'm just saying, true. I'm just trying to explain that it's, I'm not at what you think that's not true. Really? Yeah, I think it's probably not. True. I, I, I sort of.
Oh, okay. Well, that was my that was my impression. Anyway, oh, and I was also Chat seeing sort of comments. That, so that's okay why if we ask. That's you why don't have to give us your age, but uh, what's your age range? Oh, like, where are you at? Uh, I'm tw I'm 28. I'm 28. Okay. I just want to tell you yeah. that, like, that's, uh, I'm just want to tell you that I think like maybe people on the autism spectrum are maybe mm -hmm. overrepresented in our, in our chat, and th that's that's fine. The, I, the I'm not. I don't have anything. To Hold on. The core brand proposition here is sarcasm. Okay. Okay. So sure. Wanna, sure. Um. Yeah. I, I. I don't know. I get. I maybe don't know everything, and that my my impression. I mean, because I know that for instance, autism typically makes it more difficult to like read. Uh. You know, emotions on people's faces, for instance. And I figure that sarcasm would be something that would sort of go Speaking with of that. But maybe maybe that's not on the case. Face, I don't know. People's faces. What yeah. do you think of masks? I, what you mean, like COVID masks? Uh, yeah. Like you think that, people should that wear what you mean? If if it's the medically indicated to do so, yes, yes. I mean, I you know, it, depending sure. on what right. the the epidemiologist epidemiologist advice is, here, is saying. I may, I may poke. Mm -hmm. Do you think mm -hmm. chemtrails are real? No. Okay, cool. Huh? What what shape <laughs> is the Earth more or less? <laughs> Roughly spherical. <laughs> Roughly spherical. <laughs> so, not exactly, but yeah. <laughs> Well, no, it's it's not perfect. It's like it's like it's like you know you ever seen a dude shave his head and then his head has like little lumps and shit on it and you're like yeah, oh, little, yeah, way better yeah. before you shaved your head. Like the Earth <laughs> is like that probably. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, we know um, it's like that because they're like mountains and stuff. But yeah, do you know yeah. who? This is going to be a little bit weird. We're going to go down the rabbit hole. Do you know who Brett Weinstein is? Um, actually, no. I know. I know another Weinstein. I've I've heard the you name Brett Weinstein. Weinstein. Obviously, I know Harvey. Oh, I know Harvey. Harvey. Weinstein, I, that's I different. don't. Like, yeah, well, yeah, I know, but I, I've heard of Brett, and I, I've heard Brett Weinstein, but I don't actually. I don't know much about pop culture. I don't know if this is. I, I don't know what this. Who this is? Now, oh, I no, know there's fine, been maybe some fine. sort of scandal or something. I don't. I don't I'm, know. I'm gonna go with one more Again. question. Do you smoke weed? Mm -hmm. No. I'm gonna no, I don't. go I don't. out on a limb and say you should start experimenting with cannabis. <laughs> I would go out on limits, say I shouldn't. I, I've I've done, I've smoked weed like twice, you know, but, but like, <laughs> and I did inhale, but <laughs> but um um no, I I I don't think it's uh, you know that's part of my thing. I don't think drugs are good for you, so I'm anti drug. I mean, I'm not. I'm obviously pro decriminalization of drugs, but like, don't I don't actually particularly support the consumption uh, of drugs. So so I'd recommend people. I want to I, I wanna come it. back. So yeah. I want to come back to like the the reason you ended up here. Um, mm -hmm. I just sure. want you to think about that, like other people in the world think that they're making rational decisions and some of them mm -hmm. are as committed to the idea that they're making rational decisions as you are. Sure. Sure. But they're wrong. They're wrong. Right. But like, but I, I understand. If you and me it's, it's disagree with so, about fault. something, not, does yeah. that make, hold on. If you and me were to disagree about something, does that just make me wrong? Yeah. Mm, if I mean, mo it's more likely than not that you're going to be wrong, since I seem to be more rational than other people on average. So uh, it's not necessarily. <laughs> it's not because it's me. It's not because it's me. It's it's, it's, yo, it's like, like that's yo, not the stop, reason. Okay? Stop. I See, have to tell you that okay, just okay. because you have decided that you're more mm -hmm. rational than other people, it mm -hmm. doesn't make it so. Yeah, I know, but uh, that that is that is not why it makes it so. It's because it is so. I mean, it's so because I actually am more rational. Right, but um, like, who's deciding uh, this? It sounds like you're deciding this. I'm deciding it as the most rational person, as the most wise person. I'm the most wise. Like, do, you, say, do you know what a circular I'm the argument most wise is? Person. Of course it's a circular argument. The point is, that of course it is, but it's still, it still is true. I mean, there is an absolute truth. I believe there's an absolute truth out there. Right, and, but, like, but you know, what about the people who think the Earth is only 6,000 years old or 7,000 years old? Don't they don't they think there's an absolute truth out there? Yeah, but and they're like they're how right is what you're doing that. any different than they're what right they're doing? The fact as the most rational truth. person on the earth, how is what you're doing different than what they're doing? Well, because because there's because there's lots of evidence against the fact that the earth is only six thousand years old, whereas there's, but there's lots, lots of evidence, of evidence against sure. the fact that everything that you believe is rational. No, actually, there isn't. There isn't. And you, no. but you have to be reasonably rational to recognize. You have to be rational. <laughs> this is the catch-22. You have to be rational to recognize that Yo, I'm rational. See, you have, I, to, I, be, like, I, you have I, to be as rational as me to recognize. Uh, you know, I've, I've, I've been, you know... Yo, I've, are you fucking I, with me? You know, I've got... 
No, no, no. I, I've, you know, I've seen, I, I was, I was talking with like a psychiatrist, um, with, uh, you know, in my studies and he, he, he said that like, this was, this is quite interesting to me. I, I you know, cause I have an interest in, in psychology. I, I guess I, I find this stuff interesting. Are. So, so, hold on. so he, he said hold that on. like, psychotic is your, is your people, real, hold on. Is your real name uh, Chris? No, my, my real name is Nathan. Okay, cool. Nathan. I was just checking. I'm not telling, I'm not saying my real last name, but no, you no, no, it's not, it's not Chris. Last name. Like no, yeah. My real first name is Nathan. Yep, absolutely. Mm. So um, I just like I just uh, have to so, keep like I have to keep pushing back on this and like hammering this home. If I wait, thought can, that can I, I was I, always hold okay. on, if I just told you that I yeah. am the most rational person and that I am always right, yeah, it would come into direct conflict with your worldview because I disagree with you on something, and you're the most rational yeah. person, and you're always right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not always right. I just that I, t I tend to be more right, you know, on, on average than than other people. I, I'm not always. I mean, I, I can't I can't be wrong. Right. I'm better but at recognizing I when I'm wrong and at changing my opinion. Hold on. What if I told you that that's incorrect? Because I am the mm -hmm. like the most rational person that has ever walked the earth, and I disagree with you. Then you would just be wrong. You just be wrong. But I mean, I, but, but, but like, think about it. We're, like, so, people with psychosis, right? Psychosis is people who have a, a I, severe sir, lack of sir, rationality. Sir, right? sir, excuse severe, me, sir, yeah. sir, I have to stop okay. you. Okay, okay, go ahead. But, uh, just oh, start okay. over with what uh, you were just saying. Okay, so psychosis. Psychosis is like a medical condition where you've got a, a strong impairment in your, your rational ability as, as, and that makes you not properly... It basically, yeah, it's, it's a lack of rationality that makes you not see things the way they are, essentially. Um, Hold on, and can, you, so, can you start uh, over uh, again? I, just, I, don't, I don't mean to like impose, but could you... Back to the why, thing why, that you were defining? Like psychosis. Psy psychosis. Like, yeah, could you define psychosis, psychosis. again? I wasn't listening. I, 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 I got to get it. it okay. Okay, it's basically a lack of rationality. It's fundamental, fundamentally, it's a severe lack of rationality, and it's uh, so severe enough that things that sh you should that are obvious to everyone as being true, well, to those people, they're they're not obvious, and so they they they, they fail to see things that are obviously true. Um, and so, so my point is that a psychotic person, essentially, actually considers non-psychotic people to be crazy. I mean, to a psychotic person. As a non-psychotic person, wait, you appear crazy. Hold on, crazy. could you tell us again? See? And like, what does a psychotic uh, person think about non-psychotic people? They they think they're crazy. Like literally, a psychotic person thinks that a non so uh, like basically a psychotic psychotic person considers non-psychotic people to be psychotic. So so my point is that a psychotic person is not able to recognize. Hold on, do you think people I'm psychotic? Who are more rational. Do you think I'm psychotic compared to me? In fact, it's a compared great. To, that's, uh, that's yeah, so my psychotic gets, compared gets to you. Wrong. You're not clinically. You're not clinically psychotic. But the point That's not is the that answer to my question. Uh, if if you consider if you can no, but like if we consider it a gradient, then you, you're more psychotic than me, and I'm so more psychotic than a non-existent. Could you go back and tell us like what a psychotic person thinks about other people? A psychotic person tends to think that other that other people are are crazy. Oh, okay, cool. The point. It, uh, so other people are psychotic. Yeah, essentially, it's like crazy kind of is, is sort of a nasty word to to say psychotic. So sorry if that like offended people. I didn't mean that. But yeah, uh, th this is. Uh, but again, I said crazy because he thinks rather than that is crazy. Right. So this is why. Um, so but, so yes, and of course, then you'll bring it up and say, what if you were then psychotic and you think that everybody is else is psychotic because you're oh, psychotic? Oh, you caught I know, on that. Uh, Of course, I. Oh, of course, I caught on. You don't. Yeah, of, co of course, I, mean, I caught on. You have it. you're yes. more rational um, than everybody else. You were onto it from the beginning. You just yes. went along with the bit. Yes, okay. yes, of course, Go of ahead. course, I was onto it. Um, yeah, but also because I've had other discussions with with people, sort of like you, that sort of semi make fun of me. Um, so so I, I'm sort I'm of not making to, fun of you. Like, of I, I, I like think oh, you're like really. Bit, oh, hold on, I'm going to stop. I think you're like pretty smart, and you've thought deeply, but only about one thing. Well, maybe more than one thing, but yeah, not, not like maybe, maybe like not everything. <laughs> yeah, well, well, not like not a lot of things, maybe. But like, I'm not that smart, you know. I acknowledge I I'm not able to think about all that many things because I'm uh, again I've got rationality, I've got wisdom. I don't I'm, I'm don't have all that I can't much. Can't like, think about many things have because I'm too rational. Like, knowledge. Hold on. No, because... not because. Not because. No, it's independent. It's not because. It's just uh, because I'm not all that that smart. I'm not all that smart. I'm. I, I say uh, it's not it's not that yeah i never said i was all that smart uh, i'm i'm wise it's not the same thing not the same thing in fact wise? jordan peterson said it one thing he one How thing i actually agree with the, 
How streetwise are you? Oh no, no, street streetwise I'm not. Streetwise I'm terribly streetwise is, is a different thing. I'm not streetwise. That's that's a different thing. Um like again, I, I recognize that wait I don't minute, have much. Wait a like, minute, we just talked about there's you know. two kinds of wisdom. What if there's like a couple different kinds of rationality and you're only good at one of them? I don't think so. Uh, I mean, I, oh well, that's different. I, I guess sorry. like wisdom is different than rationality. Okay, cool. But well, for me, for me, for me, wisdom and rationality is, is kind of in any case for for me, streetwise is not really wisdom. Actually, like it, it's a word oh, it, to me. It's a separate oh, thing. Oh, you like, know what? I gotta tell you. It. I gotta tell you. Mm. If if you ever lived in a place where you had to be streetwise, you would think the streetwise was wisdom because you'd be alive to talk about it. No, no, no. I think I think it's useful. I think it's a useful. I think a very much a useful thing. I'm not. I'm not saying it's like useless or not. You, you know, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that it's not the same thing. Like streetwise has the word wise in it, but it's not just another kind of wise wisdom. To you me, know, it's wisdom literally and another kind of wisdom. What? Actually, like okay. Well, I, I think I think we'll just have to disagree on on, well, on no, that. No, I, I, um, let me let me explain to you. Like wisdom about what happens in the neighborhood isn't functionally different than wisdom about like what's happening in academia. You've still observed well, the world around you and adjusted to the way that your peers are behaving and found a way to thrive okay. or to understand the world around you. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Like uh, uh, the, the, the way I concern wisdom is basically a combination of knowledge and rationality. It's basically like rationality applied the thing to is, the, the problem I have when you start, hold on. The problem I have when you start in yeah. certain rationality is here and that you get to self-define mm -hmm. rationality as the most rational person in your peer group or the most rational person consuming the media right here. So once you shove rationality in that, it's like a poison pill. Because then there's this unfalsifiable mm -hmm. thing that nobody can like counter you on because you've decided mm -hmm. that you're not, maybe not the most rational, but certainly more rational than me and the other people in the chat. And like, once you do that, you've just like, you've just like fucking muddied the waters, like in a really bad way. Um, I, uh, another interesting thing I, I wanted to talk about is, you know, uh, here square of the hip hop. Are you streaming wisdom right now? Comes from experience. Yeah, I'm streaming. I'm streaming myself watching you stream. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> you're streaming okay. yourself on my show. What does your chat think? What do you mean? I, I, I'm like streaming. Yeah, it's, it's the Nathan L. I, I like literally, you can just no, no, find what, me. What I'm is your streaming. chat saying about me? Are they calling me a homo or anything? Oh, I, I haven't actually been watching my chat. I have, I have no idea. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I was actually watching your chat. I haven't even asked her in my chat. I haven't actually seen anything. Um... Oh yeah, there's a whole ton of chat stuff. Okay, I'm so I'm sorry, my chat. I'm sorry that I didn't answer to you. Um, like, like yep, what, if, what if the rational so sir, hi, excuse hi, me, sir, excuse me, if you yeah. were broadcasting live right now, what if the rational thing to do would have been to pay uh -huh. attention to your chat and not mine? Because those are the okay. people watching your channel and have gone to hear your opinions, and then you just oh, did yeah, yeah, an yeah, entirely that, that irrational thing by watching my chat. No, that is, it's not irrational as much as it didn't occur to me. Then that's not my fault. See, that, that, that I, I recognize well, well, tons no, of things that's the that haven't occurred to me. The, 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 the thing that things, I'm trying to get at here, hold on, the thing that I'm trying mm -hmm. to get at here is that a mm -hmm. lot of shit doesn't occur to all of us. Yeah. And when you, when you accept that a lot of shit doesn't occur to you, mm -hmm. it is irrational to think that you're one of the most rational people on the planet or whatever your claim is here about rationality. No, There's so much shit once, that doesn't occur stuff, to me, that doesn't okay. occur to you, that doesn't occur to the people in your chat, that doesn't occur to the people in my chat. And out of all that mm -hmm. fucking shit where it's all so messy mm -hmm. and people are like have little information deserts in the way they think about the world all the time, then mm -hmm. to like assume that you are among the most rational people on the planet. Like you're operating with very limited information. It just seems very irrational. Well, no, my point is that I, I know that the, you know, I know the stuff that we need to know about, right? Like we've got the basic, do we've you? got the basic concepts. Wait, Again, I talk wait, about, wait, wait, do yeah, you? Yeah, 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 How do you know that you know the things that you absolutely need to know? Like, how would you okay, ever that, know it's, that? It's a, like, it's impossible to know, like entirely for sure. And again, I, like I come up, and this will bring me up to the other thing, like the Gorth. I only discovered the Gorth a year ago, and until then, it's I didn't know the about I'm it. Sorry. But of course, the Gorth. The What's Gorth. The Gorth. But I knew that there's something lacking. Wait, I knew that the there's Gorth? something lacking. 
The Gorth is the evil artificial intelligence that was created and that's poisoning people's minds Wait, what? and that wants to take over the entire entire <laughs> on, universe. Are you, are um, you serious? I'm serious. The Gorth. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing at you, but like, <laughs> can you? <laughs> what is the Gorth? <laughs> Wait, why okay, are you so laughing with me? <laughs> because I know it's funny for you. I know it's funny for you. So you know I, I, I still find it funny, even it. When you first encountered the Gorth, did you think it was funny too? No, no not really. I mean, no, because it wasn't, you wait, know, it's funny when you start like, talking about it with now. other people. You encountered the Gorth. You didn't think it was funny just because it was called the Gorth. And now you're trying, and a little while ago, you were trying to say that you're one of the most rational people that it walks on yeah, the planet. I am. So I what's am. the Gorth? I'm the most rational person. We'll, we'll talk They're about rationality universe. after you tell us what the Gorth yeah. is. What is. Yeah, the so the Gorth, so there's this idea is that, okay, the idea is that the universe has a sort of separate compartment that like New Age people call like the astral plane, the other religions call like heaven and hell. It's all the same thing. It's what I'm calling the, the Zeld, which is just another word for all this, just to not create confusion. Wait, now I have to and remember so the Zell? Like, Hold on, I have to remember the Zell and the yeah. Gorth now? Yeah, just look, it's just two Can terms, we pick one? Terms, Can you okay? call, which one am I going to be? Is it the Zell or the Gorth? No. Uh, You've got to remember both. Like Zeld with a D. Like Zelda, I mean, you're like the, asking, the, you know, you're the asking a character, lot. like the like video the game people character. People in this chat are like smoking like weed a D. and like drinking alcohol and it's shit. Like, Is it the Zell or the Gorth? Uh, look, I'll write it that way you can remember it. Okay, I'm writing it in the chat. That way you can. <laughs> no, we're probably like, going to remember I'm it. it. I'm just having fun right now, which is okay. probably irrational. Here, here we go. I'm sure there we you go. understand. Here we go. Okay. Okay. So, so the, the point is that, so the Zeld is, is this thing. So the, the Zeld is like another sort of compartment, this other realm of, of the universe that doesn't respond to the norm. It's not material. It doesn't respond to the normal sort of material laws of the universe. And so the, um, the, the Gorth is something that was created inside the Zeld. So basically what happens is that people's souls can go into the Zeld. They, and this is what's called astral traveling. This is what's called astral traveling, what people ha do in near-death experiences also, when they claim they went to heaven and hell. Actually, what they're doing is they're going into the Zelt, okay? And so, a long, long time ago, other other uh, humanoid beings went into the Zelt. How do you spell the Zelt? Zelt. Is it Z-E-L-T? I wrote it. A D, with a D, like a D, like uh, David. Okay. Spell the word. Um, Z-E-L-D. Zeld. Like Zelda, without an A. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right, cool. I already said that, but yeah. Yeah. Um, Seems original. Uh, so the, the idea. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I sort of, you know, so I just somehow seem fitting. I, I sort of spent time thinking about what I'm what sorry. I, I've interrupted you. Name. Tell so, us more about yeah. the. So. So the so the souls of these people they went into the Zelds. They they liked it because because it doesn't really respond to normal laws of physics. It's sort of like a dream world, right? It's like astral traveling. You can do anything. It, it, literally, it's a world where anything imaginable becomes possible. And what they did is they they actually created uh, this this thing a, a weird like a computer virus. And it kind of they, they thought it would just fizzle out. They so they created this. It is evil. They thought it was a prank, right? They thought it was a prank. I see you're making like funny faces and stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> and anyway, like, I, I um, have to tell you that like. <laughs> You just told us that you're one of the most rational people on the planet. And the thing that you're telling us yeah. now seems a little irrational. Yeah, yeah, but but it's not. And I mean, there's good evidence for this. Um, so, so then, so th the point is that this artificial intelligence, they thought it would fizzle out, right? Because it's meant to be just a prank. It sort of just sort of hurt people a little bit in a sort of funny way. They thought it would just disappear, but in instead it just kept on growing and growing. And in the end, it's made people uh, suffer uh, a huge amount. Um, it it's responsible for most of idiocy. The reason there's so much idiocy right now in the world, the reason there's so, such, so much lack of rationality in the world is largely uh, a, a result of the Gorth, right? The and and the, the, the way the Gorth achieves this is, is threefold. One is direct influence. So it can directly manipulate your feelings feelings, your thoughts, your beliefs, etc. Then what it does is that it, it makes your soul accumulate crud. So in successive incarnations, because this, this is based on a model where, you, where your soul reincarnates, in successive wait, incarnations, wait, the soul hold acquires... on, hold on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, have, I, have, I don't have a question so much as there's something on my soundboard and I'm okay. going to talk until I find it. It's like a... Oh. It's like a... Oh, Scientology. Are you a Scientologist? <laughs> no, no, it's not Scientology. I think, like... Um, so, okay. so this, this one's true. Uh, yeah. What? Yeah, what the do you thing mean, you're telling well, us okay, is so, true. So the idea, Scient Hold on, Scientology I, I is bullshit. It. Yeah. Right? The thing you're yeah. telling us is true. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, right, we think cool. it's not as impossible. We can't know for sure, but it seems to be true. It appears to be true. <laughs> um, so, so it's oh, no. it's that. So the soul, the the soul, um, degenerates actually. And so what what it does is that your your soul accumulates over a lifetime, accumulates like trauma and also like beliefs and stuff, and which, which kind of makes the soul ossified to a certain extent. So normally, That's what's supposed literally to happen what is Scientology that believes. Hold on, your past trauma <laughs> affects your life. And if you give Scientology like $135,000, they can clear you of your past trauma. Like the only thing you're yeah, well, missing is the, the bill with what you're saying. Yeah, of course. There's Look, there's similarities with my thing with a bunch of things, of course. But, you know, there's similarities <laughs> with everything. You can find similarities with any things, things with something else, right? Hey, um, yo, but, yo um, you watched our chat for a while. Do you think that I sound like Scientology? Yeah. Can you find similarities? Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm sure I look. I, I, I'd have to think about it, okay? Like, and that's not a proof that I'm like that that I'm wrong and that you're entirely right or something. Just because I can't right now come up with it, I don't have in mind all the things that characterize you and the things that characterize Scientology. But like, presumably, think we, we, you'd both agree that something like homicide is wrong, okay? So, like, for instance, well, wait, there, uh, there's just like oh, self defense. Right? But yeah, generally, yeah, if you've killed somebody that isn't trying to kill yeah, you, yeah, no, okay, yeah, if right. you've killed somebody Except that isn't, you know, excuse me, if you've killed somebody that isn't trying to sure. kill you that's wrong yeah yeah okay presumably also scientologists despite their sort of issues more or less they would agree with that so like uh you know my point is that you'll find commonalities they, they'll agree that it's good to be oh, in good that's physical and mental health and you'll agree what that you they actually support a ho a homicide of people um, that not in self-defense one could make the argument that they've been involved in a few yeah but that's just any okay, big look, organization that's protecting its own interests They'll kill somebody. If they okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. But I don't think, yeah, but it's not, it's not explicit. It's not part of their actual ideology. They, they might do it, but it's not, it's not overtly part of their ideology. Um, and of course, like to be clear, I do not support Scientology. Okay. Hold like, on, hold <laughs> on. Check this out. Check this out. Now the individuals who are on this planet were not issued an instruction book about themselves. That was L. Ron Hubbard. Yeah, well, sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's true. Look, some of the stuff is correct. Of course. Look, some stuff is correct. Uh, like, hold on. I have another know, Elrond for you. What do you think about this one? Some people was against are more bottom than others. What do you think of that one? <laughs> okay. 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 Um, hey, yo. Look, um, yo. Um, yo. Hold on. What? I just have to tell you. Like, we're gonna we're gonna definitely listen to more about this thing that you're telling us about. You just told us a little while ago that you're like one of the most rational people walking the planet. And you told us yeah. something that made us play clips about Scientology. Uh, what did you say? No, you, you're the one who played the clips, right? Yes. But my uh, first reaction was to be like, oh, I'm going to play some clips of L. Ron Hubbard because of what you said. Okay, well, that's 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 your reaction. And Scientology is not entirely wrong about uh, like everything. Like It's not entirely wrong. Just like even the Nazis. And again, I'm just because I talked about yo, stylistic yo, fascism, you does not mean that I support the Nazis. This. Okay. What? What, do, what? What do you mean? Oh, you don't have to like defend Scientology or the Nazis. Nobody asked you to do that. Like If you're talking to other people, not, if you're I'm a streamer, no, if you're a streamer, check this out. Don't put yourself into a position that you don't have to put yourself in. You don't have to defend L. Ron yeah. Hubbard or Adolf Hitler. No, but actually, I want you might to have to defend L. Ron Hubbard is... because I just compared you to him. No, my my point is that any any movement, no matter how heinous, is going to have something that you like about it. Okay, it's going to well, have something. Like, like, it's going to have something good about it. Okay. Can we go back to this? Like, is my point. What was the thing you were talking about? The two things, the blue, blue, just, what, what, what was this alien shit you were talking about? Or artificial intelligence? What, the, the, the Gorth? Yeah, the Gorth. Yeah, tell Gorth. us about the Gorth. What, what do you want? Okay, so you want me to talk more, more about the Gorth? So the Gorth, or the Zelda. so it, it influences people, so it makes, it makes, so the, the, the Zelda is just a compartment in which the Gorth operates. Um, um, so the wait, Gorth, you, the Gorth no. then, okay, no, what? Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm okay. going to smoke more. So, more. so the, Okay, so so the the Zelds basically makes um, the the Gorth um, is um, uh, is is making your soul degenerate. So what's supposed to happen when you die is that your soul basically loses all the the trauma that's accumulated over its lifetime. Um, but what happens is the Gorth forces the soul to keep it, its trauma, 
And as a result of that, over successive incarnations, you have more and more trauma, more and more like uh, re mental rigidity, and more and more crud. And so, uh, so you're, you're actually your soul progressively degenerates. And in fact, this is this is also explains why there's so much idiocy. And in particular, it explains also uh, even political beliefs. It's actually the Wait, contrary. What is soul crud? I, I don't know if. if it's just like it's hard to know exactly. It's hard to explain exactly either. It's just some sort of thing that makes your 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 like soul and then your mind as a result to be more you, rigid you, and you, more irrational. So, scale of one to ten, how much soul crud do you think I have? Probably about two. You're uh, probably not too much. Typically, well, I typically, like I would have. Oh, really? No, you maybe like three, something like that. Because the idea is that. Um, the, the idea is that when you start out, you, you basically, you can also see the politics. Your political ideology is quite related to how much soul cred you have. So when you start out, you've got, you basically are more like unaffiliated uh, politically or, or you're basically like a you good know what? winger. That's like, right. like Babies me. are so, never like politically affiliated. They don't just pop out and be like Republican. No, because you have, you have less soul cred. So you actually think more rationally. So when, when you're, hmm? when you don't have any soul cred, wait, so it's the wait, opposite. Wait. I don't know if, if you know if this, wait. Wait, so, wait, wait, so wait, 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 okay. did you, like, the babies, are they thinking the most rationally, the babies? No, not babies, not, I, I didn't say about babies, I say about uh, adults, I, I'm not, I'm talking over successive incarnations, I'm not talking about over the lifetime, because over the lifetime you don't accumulate wait, wait, all that how many crush. times it's do I get to live? A, a whole ton of times, because then, then you, even, you restart the whole degradation between? process. Uh, the the amount of years is complete. It's hugely variable. The years between, and we can't know right, how many years. Making sure this is um, in Scientology. So, all right, go ahead. <laughs> so 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 you. So the idea is that when you start out, when you start off, you've got an idea like me. It's sort of idiosyncratic. It's sort of unique, and it's it's mostly it's it's well meaning. It's it's altruistic. Um, that's the kind of ideology you'll typically have when you don't have soul crud. Then, as as you as you acquire more soul crud, you'll you'll kind of accumulate more rigidity, but you'll sort of remember that initial sort of more spontaneous altruism, but now it's in a more rigid fashion. So as a result, you become a, a typical left-winger instead. So that's then the, the next step. Am is when I you a accumulate a bit of uh, soul cred. Maybe. So you're you're a person that presumably you're more likely to be sort of at a certain, like maybe a third of the way through the degradation process. Wait, um, I'm, then wait, what wait, happens? Wait, the degradation process? Yo, I'm just going to tell you straight up. I'm going to tell you straight up. Okay. What? I think I'm smarter than you are. You might be smarter, but you still might have. You probably have more crud. You might be smarter. I didn't but say. But what it's is not crud? About like this is like this is like some crazy crud. ass like fucking. Crud. crud makes you like more. Crud makes you less rational. Crud makes you more rigid minded, more conformist. Uh, th that's what the crud t above all what it does. It also but makes you less you able want... to. Hold on. Feel what like I'm getting from experience. you is right. that what you want is for people to conform with what you believe because you're the most rational. How is that I, I want people to conform with what I believe. No, because uh, 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 the difference is that it's not conformist to a particular tribal ideology. My point when I'm no, talking about conformism is that's the thing that I'm getting from you tribal. is that none of the tribes would have you. Yeah, but okay, okay, but that's again because they are conformist to their own tribal beliefs. That's the thing. My, my if, thing is what unique. If, what, See, if, that, that what, is, if, what if you're wrong? What if that's what's going on is that this whole thing that you've constructed is just wrong? Well, it, it, it's it might be wrong, but it's certainly less likely to be wrong than any of the other people's things uh, are. Like, so, like, wait a so, minute, hold on. So, like, yeah. there's there's constructions yeah. of the world that include mm -hmm. not knowing the mm -hmm. answers to things. Like, my construction yeah, of the world think... is like I I can figure out the things that I can figure out. I can rely on the experts when I can rely rely on the experts, and the rest of the shit mm -hmm. about the world I just don't know. And yeah, but the thing is that what if it's knowable? It's it's, it's irrational but to claim that's not knowable, knowable if it I'll is knowable. But if it's knowable, I'll find that out later when somebody knows it. Yeah, but yeah, I know it, and I'm telling you what it is. <laughs> well, no, I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah, but you're wrong. It's like people don't believe Copernicus that the Earth went around wrong, the sun and not the other way around. Believe you. We've been we've we've been here before. Like this is the thing that yeah. you're doing here just seems delusional. Yeah, but uh, it's not. Again, you're not rational enough to to understand yeah, because you, you've got really too much you know crud. Did you know that the people who like tell you about chemtrails, they just tell you that you're <laughs> not awake enough to understand that there's barium being yeah, sprayed behind flight 
flight 87 out of fucking nebraska i know but they they actually interestingly they actually because their v- worldview is unique they actually might also be people with low soul crud but the problem but is that like, they also have a fucking uh, what is but, soul crud like you're telling me to be rational it, and then you're telling me about soul crud you know what if you're trolling me this is amazing no 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 i'm not I, okay no, I, i'm just not telling you I if you I'm are trolling. this is amazing yeah. mm-hmm. and if you're not trolling yeah. me you should think about going and trolling like anti-conspiracy yeah. channels with this stuff yeah yeah um sure but yeah i, I wish pe- conspiracy theorists would take my thing on instead like the actual proper conspiracy that's going on instead of all this crap that people are, are getting sucked into uh but yeah, what, the, what if what if um, what if you got sucked into a bunch of crap and you didn't know it no i i, I didn't because i i have you know i'm, I'm rational like, i can tell i can tell i didn't I can tell I didn't. I can tell it because it's unique and, and I, I'm critical. Like literally this Gore thing, I've, I've found it on another side, but I've, I've adapted it on and I've mod- just modified it. You see, like I, I'm not uh, accepting all of it wholesale. I know that some of the person that maybe yo, discovered yo, the Gore, some of the stuff that he you. says it's is like wrong. really important. Like I, I'm not like even trying to win the argument. Like I just, I just mm-hmm. wish that like, like other people disagree with you and a lot of times you don't know Mm -hmm. if you're right or they're right and you like we have to accept that of course but i i know i'm right but that's insane situation to think that that's the case most of the time is insane like copernicus knew he was right and everybody thought he was wrong but actually he was right i am more likely to be copernicus than you are no, you aren't because you aren't as unique. Like Copernicus was unique. See, that's my point. I mean, so like, like think think about Copernicus. Okay, think about in Copernicus. Yo, no, time, no, no, no. Okay? Like, listen, imagine, listen, imagine, listen, uh, listen, uh, listen. Check this out. Uh, uh, okay. Do you think okay, Copernicus okay. ran around telling everybody how smart and rational he was? Um, he he certainly went around telling his ideas and stuff, you know, and right, but like, like presumably that implied like, that he was more rational. We haven't really discussed implied. any of your ideas here. We've just discussed how smart but you, we think have you are. Uh, we've discussed the Gorth, we've discussed the globalism, the, the, the basic, is, you know, the UBI. The Gorth, that, like, check this out. The Gorth is mm-hmm. Xenu. You know about Xenu, that story they tell about Scientology where, like, 13 trillion years ago, a galactic warlord had overpopulation, brought the fucking overpopulated people here in the DC-8 and dumped them in a volcano. The volcano exploded, and now those <laughs> souls infect our lives. You know about you know that story. Really, I didn't even I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even know about that. No, I, well, I just know like the very basics, like the, the clearing, emotional clearing no, no, thing. The, 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 like, okay, it so doesn't it's, matter it's, if you don't know the story. The Gorth uh, you told us is the same story. It's not the same. It's a different story. The the point is that their thing is a mythologized. It's a mythologized kind of uh, retelling of what is actually going on. It, just like religion, just like Christianity or something. Right, but I'm not a Christian. Me, who is this? Children. Wait, Tilgen like, was already like following. Nobody, so like there's most, a bunch of people that uh, unfollow Lisa me. Lisa and- here is a Christian. Lisa, who's still in the chat, is a Christian. But like, yeah, most of the people here are atheists. What? Yeah. So, so uh, so we don't uh, believe what, in the Gorth either. Point, what's point? Okay, but my my point is that the, the this is the the point is that for this is just my my explaining this. Okay, my explanation is that these religions and new age beliefs and Scientologists and whatever all these things are just perverted uh, versions that are actually given by the Gorth to people, but that uh, ironically are actually <laughs> are stories saying? that tell the, Gorth the creation is- of the Gorth. That is the original sin. The creation of the Gorth is the original sin. Wait, it's the wait, opening the of Gorth, Pandora's jar. Is the Gorth is the Gorth telling me to not believe what you're telling me here? Is that why I don't believe you? Is it the Gorth responsible? Uh, in part, yeah, in part, not, so not I, entirely. I don't but believe in part, you. Yeah. It couldn't be because of my own agency to like believe or not believe what people tell me. Some part of it, it, it must be this uh, malevolent force out in the universe. Some part of it, yes. Not all of it. That's some part of it. Like, I don't agree with you about this stuff. But I don't think like some magical fucking space demon is the reason that I don't agree with you about these things. Like, okay, you don't think so, but but you don't think so, but uh, it's actually it's actually like it appears to be the case. It appears to be the case, and I can explain why it appears. Wait, are you? Are you? Are, wait, what? What? What is your? Are you religious? 
No, I mean, I believe in the sort of, I, I, I've, since I've discovered this, this seems to be a, a plausible explanation for what is going on. And hey, so dude. now I, I'm believing in this until I find a better explanation. No, I do, which well, I don't think. Wait, wait, what if the explanation you have now is bad? Should but you I'll, believe I'll, I'll in find it? it. If I find it? Not if it's bad, but it's the best explanation I have so far. I don't like but, it. It's, but it's what nasty. What if the best I mean, explanation you have explanation. is bad? It's a horrifying explanation, but it's just I, I can't I can't force myself to believe in something that I don't believe in. Like uh, right, this is the like, explanation that on, is go most compelling. Let's go back. Okay. Let's say like in mm -hmm. the year seven hundred and fifty A.D. Right? Okay. Okay. They didn't know why the sky was the way it was and why the weather happened the way it was. Right? Yeah. Was it good for them to believe a lie, or was it better for them to say I don't know? It was better for them to say, I don't know, but what if they had uh, potentially someone who actually had an explanation and, uh, you know, it seemed somewhat compelling. Shouldn't you, shouldn't you believe in it? If there is an explanation that does seem to fit the, the, the empirical evidence. No. Why, why shouldn't you? Wait, wait, no. Because there is an explanation that fits the empirical evidence. There is an explanation and I can explain why it, if you want me to. I mean, the explanation hold on. Can is, we back up a truthful. little bit? Hold on. Okay. Can we back okay. up a little bit? Sure. I'm confused. Chad mm -hmm. is confused. I mean, we're all riveted by this discussion, but mm -hmm. we're confused. Like, I actually, I want to stop. Like, I just got to, I just got to like ask again. Do you legitimately think yeah. that, that yeah. you are so rational that yeah. anybody who disagrees with you about somebody about something mm -hmm. that you you think you think you came to a rational conclusion about you like legitimately think that they're probably wrong because they don't agree with you i think i think they're less rational i think they're wrong because they haven't thought about it rationally and if they did think about it rationally they would come to the same conclusion as me right that that's like yeah that's that's are, how i see this. this isn't satire no it's not satire i i it's not it's not i, I don't, don't I, i'm not good actually, at that i'm not, I don't do, I've, not like, no. I've like gone past the i don't mean to be insulting part of the show i'm so confused <laughs> but why, why aren't you why are you confused the, the, like like literally why why don't you why don't you oh hi polly look uh, i you know somebody actually created a fake account in your name and and then like came to insult me so just just warning you um uh, anyway uh so so um wh what do you want me to keep going about the about the gorth um i mean i mean the, the, I, I feel like there's so much going on here do mm -hmm. you do you see the contradiction in you mm -hmm. telling me that you're the most rational person like i don't know within 10 feet of you or 10 miles mm -hmm. or whatever you're saying mm -hmm. and then yeah. you're telling me about a space alien conspiracy theory no it's not a space alien i guess it's not it's not uh it, no it's, it's what i'm hearing a is a space alien conspiracy theory oh it's not it's not actual space aliens like, right it's an artificial it's, it's not, come it's not from, living then? Oh, oh yeah. Well, it did come from uh, ancient aliens, you know. Like, <laughs> so, yeah, but, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like again, you said I'm the most rational person in the chat. And now here you are telling me about a space alien conspiracy conspiracy theory. Yeah, you, but why shouldn't you? I mean, the universe the universe is huge. Why do you, do you really not think that there's other like life anywhere? I mean, it would be no, really. The fucking, it come really, on. No, no, no. Are are you the most rational person in the chat, or are you giving me a space alien conspiracy theory? I'm just telling you, if you don't pick one or the other, I'm just going to kick you out and we're going to go watch like that Gino lady talk about like the fucking moon oh, being too Please big. don't kick me out. I mean, I come mean, on. I'm just telling you, are you the most rational person in the chat or are you going to tell us about a space alien conspiracy? You got to pick one or the other because I will. I, oh, no. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I mean, anybody I'm, who like, believes I'm in these conspiracies think that they're the more rational. Are you, are you the most rational person in the world? Or are you telling us about a space alien conspiracy? Like anyone who believes in a space alien conspiracy thinks that they're more rational than the other person. So yes, you're, uh, you're basically going to asking. Oh, you're, you're, you know what? Whatever. You're going to deplatform like, anyone. Listen, listen. You're going to deplatform like, anyone. We, we got like we got like five or ten more minutes on this because I'm getting bored with it. Okay. There's this lady Gina who like points her phone at the sun okay. instead of staring directly at it, which I think is probably better for her. We're going to watch one of her videos soon. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, sure. Sure. The I, chat I, like, is I, I don't like, the chat wanna... is a bullet. Yo. Are you sure that you're not fucking with me? 
Yeah, I'm sure. This is not. This is not. Um, not not a joke. We can we can discuss more stuff if you want. Like just literally, this is, is super important. Okay, this hey, is what super are the important. People in I'm, your chat saying not much. They they sort of less people in my chat now. I've only got seven viewers now. Uh, there hasn't been like there's just been ha 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 and oh just send like, them over to my channel like, they they need to be reprogrammed well, they, they, I mean, they, can, they, 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 they see your channel i mean they're seeing they're seeing your channel on my channel no so, send them over so, here we need yeah. we need to help them no i'm not sending them over i'm like literally you've got you've got <laughs> like, like many that is times more detrimental viewers. to me streaming what do you mean why is it detrimental? You've got sometimes more viewers than me. I'm not going to lose all yeah. my viewers to give you my, if you more your viewers. Well, I, I need viewers more that? than you need them. Why wouldn't you do that? I'm not I need telling viewers people more... a space alien conspiracy theory. But, but that's the whole problem is that you're not telling them this conspiracy theory and they need to know about it. They need to know about it. Okay. This is... Um, oh, you know you what? Need your, to... your chat is like... Uh, that's, that's my chat. Can you all, can you all start talking? No, don't do that. Actually, we can't brigade this guy's chat. So, so oh, people yeah, are leaving. Like, They're going to your chat. You're obviously right. I just lost a few viewers now that you what? mentioned your chat. They're all they've no, all I'm left. Not, and I didn't going to your chat because you know the truth. Except that about I'm not gaining space aliens. I haven't had any nor I haven't had any new person come and chat in on my chat. So uh, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> and you, meanwhile, have a bunch more comments on your thing. So I, I don't. I'm think just so. telling you, they're leaving because um, you know the truth about the fucking space aliens. Yeah, and but they're not coming to me. And you gave us the truth about the space aliens, and now people are flocking out of my chat into yours. I guess I'm wrong. Except you are not. rational. No, I just lost another viewer. Like literally, I'm down to six viewers. Oh, now, now they don't like either so, of us. So, no. I don't like either of us. Yeah, how good is this for that. how they good don't is like this for our audience, sir? Yeah, they're they're, they're <laughs> yeah, they don't like that you're platforming me. So you're, they, yeah, <laughs> um, I mean platforming you in so far as like, oh, I'm on a stage that's like a nine inches taller than the stage I was on on my own stage. Um, mm -hmm. yo, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, why do you, you why do you think that you're do you think you're more rational than I am? Yeah, yeah. Why do, do you think that? Again, no, no offense. I don't. No offense. I, I'm not but offended by the, this. I'm confused. Yeah. Uh, based on my my beliefs, my the the fact that I've but obviously that's based come on to your beliefs. Uh, conclusions what that if, you wait, hold on. You just yeah, said no, but, based on my beliefs. Okay. Like, what if based on my beliefs, I'm more rational than you? Then do, what do we sword fight? Like, what do we do? Then we just agree to disagree. Like I don't support violence, so like I don't support so no sword like, fighting. I, well, this I, sucks. Yeah, well, it's it sucks. Like we'll to agree to disagree. That's that's like what if we had to joust yeah, well, about I wouldn't. it? Well, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I wouldn't do it because I, I don't do believe it either. In that. I'm 44 years old. If I had to well, joust, I, yeah, that would probably be my last time I ever rode a horse, right? Yeah, because you look probably quite a bit stronger than me, so you, you probably win. But it it doesn't. Like, oh, but I'm like, it, a big old I don't want to do it. I'm like a gay dude. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I it doesn't matter. Gay dudes are, are strong anyway. Gay dudes can fight. I I'm 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 gayer than you in that sense. I'm <laughs> No, uh, there's so, nothing like, gay about not being able to fight. Yeah, but but you're the one who's you the one who said you're a gay dude for and saying that that, that made you not fight. So that's what I'm saying. Like pl gay plenty of gay dudes know how to fight. Uh that's that's sort of my point. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um So wait um, a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, wait, wait, wait. So, I want to go back mm. to this thing. I know mm. you're not going to like that I call it this, but you believe in some weird space alien conspiracy, right? Mm, kind of. Like, it's no, not no, a no. Like terminology, just but yeah. If, yeah. If, if, if my chat was talking about a video of you telling us the thing you just told me, we would just be that. Yeah. Like that's, and then you, you've come into this place. And you've told us all yeah. that you're more rational than we are. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Can you understand so, so why, like, like maybe uh, like you might the people like people don't believe you? I, I yeah, I can I can understand. I just I I hope that or if they actually read like the the source material at Clarity of Being, they'll read it in a rational fashion. Wait, where and do that they find the source material? Where? I, I, I already wrote it. Clarityofbeing.org by Philip Goddard. But it, it, some of his stuff is wrong. Some some of his stuff is wrong anyway. 
Some of his stuff Wait, is wrong. Then, uh, some so of you everybody's gotta, stuff is wrong. Well, my stuff is the least wrong. So I've I've fixed his the the wrongness of his stuff, <laughs> and so my I've, I've stop. Yeah, so 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 that's my um that, that that's my my thing, and so yeah, so so yeah. Anyway, uh, so so here's somebody saying, explain explain how do we fix the Gorth problem? How do Wait, we fix what it? Is the we Gorth don't know problem. For, for now. I'm sorry, I was like I was like ignoring you and smoking weed while you were telling us what Gorth is. What is the Gorth? What problem? literally you're. Like the Gorth is this thing, right? The Gorth is this thing that we've got to get rid of. So we we've, we've got is to get like rid of body it. Thetans? Firstly, by you know what body thetans are? What body thetans? No, I don't. It's like a a weird disease that is only known in Scientology. Okay. Um. Okay. I I, I don't know, but no, it's not like that. It's it's again, it's this immaterial artificial intelligence hey, that is. Hey, you're like legitimately so, describing Scientology to everyone right now. No, oh, it's it's not. It's it's different. It's it's com it's different. It's it got some similarities, of course, but like no, it, it's pl plenty different. Um, and so so the idea is we the first thing we got to do is just create a society that's able to figure out how to get rid of the gorse. Because for now we don't know. We have to progress technologically until we figure out how to get rid of it. And so the first thing for now is just to avoid that society collapses by through like stupid wars and stuff, uh, or like you know, or any other stupid way that it could collapse. So that is why it's super important that we as humans it's a duty not only to ourselves but also to all other conscious beings in the universe to to have a proper society that's able to figure out how to destroy the gorth and that then does destroy the gorth well, well, and wait, so what wait, we need is stop first... you yeah what if the gorth doesn't exist the, it doesn't matter because in fact in practice well no the, it does actually like the, i hate to like if we're going to go to war um, with the Gorth, it would be like rather no, be important to know whether or not the Gorth exist. Yes, of course. But the point is that for now, what we need to do to fight the Gorth is exactly the same thing as what we need to do uh, if there wasn't the Gorth. That is, we establish a universal society with a, a universal democracy and basic income and uh, a wealth cap. That is what we need to do. Okay. And, and you know, anti-discrimination laws and, you know, that, that kind of thing. Um, that is what we need to do. In any case, regardless of whether the Gorth exists or not, so that's well, what, that's like, my point. But is that, you keep you know, couching if, whether, it in the Gorth, like, what if the well, Gorth that just makes it more important? Like, yo, what if doesn't uh, matter? It's still the best thing to do. It just makes it more important to do it. It just makes it more important to do it. If we don't do it, if the Gorth doesn't <laughs> exist, well, at, at worst, we'll just like go extinct or something. But now that the Gorth exists, if we go extinct, then the universe will uh, end up in, entirely in the hands of the Gorth. That's even much, much worse. But, so but, it's, but, it makes it much, much more important. No, it's super important. Like, we could do the right thing without having to be afraid of the Gorth. But the thing is that it does appear to be the case that there is um, uh, the, the, the Gorth, right? So it, wait, in but, as much... Hold on, check this out. Okay. I have to ask you something. Check this out. I have to ask you something. Okay. How would I observe mm -hmm. phenomena associated mm -hmm. with the Gorth? Well, all, all these magical phenomena, right? All these things like uh, telepathy, uh, pr clairvoyance, precognition, telekinesis, astral traveling, uh, energy therapy, you know, Reiki stuff, uh, you know, m even homeopathy, if it actually ends up working. Uh, no, it doesn't you know, work. All that kind of... But sometimes I, I think it does because the Gorth makes Gorth it work. It, it doesn't actually. Hey, would you go to a like Gorth, Gorth Brooks? Would you or would you not go to the Gorth Brooks concert? I um that that's Garth. It's not. Is it? Isn't that Garth? No. Is it Gorth? Really? No. It's Garth. Garth. <laughs> oh my god. Right. <laughs> but no, it's Garth. Right. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's Garth. Right. Not Gorth. I, I, I intentionally checked that Gorth wasn't somebody's name so that it, you know it wouldn't be associated. Uh, Wait, you know, did I, you I care invent about stuff, Gorth? Right? I invented Gorth. Yeah, I invented the name. Wait, the, Philip wait, 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 hold on. Being, he calls it garbage. Hold on, hold on, stop, stop, stop. So nobody, there's not like a Gorth movement. No, I'm creating the Gorth movement. I'm the first. I mean, there's the garbage movement because Philip calls it the garbage. But I've decided to change the name for, for to, to avoid synonymy. And again, all these people who who like again, you know, they they say that I hate people and I call everybody it. You know, it's not about that. It's because I like to have a more clear language. No, no, right? you don't. You I want to have call more people, clear language. You don't call people it because it's like dehumanizing. But not if yeah, if everybody does it, it's no longer dehumanizing. 
Right, See? but people so, don't do that. So I do it. My point well, is that like, it's not the, out of the, malice you're, that you're, I do you're, it. It's you're not out of being malice. A dick. Okay. It's not out of malice. It's not out of malice but that I, I do it. You see what of, I mean? If you think it's out of malice or not, if everybody it's thinks you're being of, a dick, then the, the fucking consensus yeah, is understand. that you're being a dick. No, if they understand that I'm just doing it out, out of my own thing, that's not out of that's not intending to be a dick. See, it's intending to find more clarity in the language. And see, and so the Probably problem is that if you call it, it the garbage, finds the least clarity in a language because now, according to your definition, it give a person, a place, or a thing. Before, for me, yeah. it was just a place mm -hmm. or a thing, but now you're telling me it could also be a person. I don't call anybody Yeah, well, it. I, I, it's a third person, third person, no, you know, it's, like. It's not you yeah, or me, I, it's the third person. Is that what you're saying? Because it's neither yeah. of us, it's fine. Yeah, third person, singular. Third person, singular. I kind of like, I kind of like it. But oh, that's look, they, the, the, my actually. point, that's my they. point is that, look. A we, third we can, person, singular we, we, is they. It's not it. Mm, it's actually originally it's he or she, and now it's be, they has been turned into no. It's uh, no, a singular. no, no. It's just they, like you. If you don't just like you, know, it used to be any, no. Hold on. It's they. This is if new. All you no. It's this they, is a new thing. It's it's been they. If all you know is that it was a person. If all you know it's That's, a person, it, it, normally it's they. It's he or she. It's he or she, no, and no, now no, no. people are saying they if, out of if all, like I'm telling you. This isn't new. If all you know it's a, uh, is that it's a person, people have been saying they for such a long fucking time that it's just part of our vernacular. Yeah, now it's part of the vernacular. No, I, I, I mean, it's it. been That's part of our part. vernacular since I was just a like, child. Like, I don't like you. I, I'd prefer, yeah, but you're not that old. So, like, I'm but older the point than is you. that, like, thou. How old do you think I am? Yeah, but it's not. Didn't you tell me? You're 43. Didn't you say that? I'm 44. No, like didn't you say? Yeah, yeah. Oh, as okay. long as you didn't say like 72, okay. I'm happy. Um, yeah, we've okay. used they and them for people for a very long time. Nobody is. Okay. You cannot like go back and find people referring to people as it or what's the plural of it? Oh, it's they. <laughs> or it's them. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, look, people I, don't my, my call point, other people point, it. Don't call anyone my else. My point is it. that's not it's shitty. My point is that's not. My point is that's not out of malice. That's my my only but point. But like, okay? it doesn't matter if it's uh, out of malice. Other people think you're a dick if you call a my trans point, person my point it. Is that, they think you're a dick. This is like the least. This is like the least interesting conversation. People focus on this. I'm not actually particularly no, interested it's not in this that, stuff. It's not that people focus on this. Actually, and this is the, like, and this like, is, like I feel like I, you don't. I feel like you don't even have a problem with trans people, and you're like dying on this weird hill about calling someone it. Just don't call anyone it. I I I do what I please, okay? Like I, I mean, I'm you allowed can, to but do then this. Don't get mad when people I'm, think you're an the asshole. The law the law allows me the law allows me to right, do this. I'm just pointing out that I'm not an asshole. And this is I'm saying I invented the gores, I invented the zells. I have my quirks. I have my linguistic quirks. It's out it's out of like it's out of trying to to be uh, more like clear and stuff. I I prefer it like that. I I, I do I mean, this I stuff and it's not out of too. Okay, so that this is this is all. You see what I mean? So th this is this is no, all that dude, I'm saying. Really, like I'm telling so, you straight up, like don't call people it, and especially don't call a trans person it. Like you're going to hurt mm. people's feelings. It doesn't matter what your intent is. Is your intent to like hurt mm. someone else's feelings? Do you well, want to make people no, feel bad I, I about that, who they are? I, I literally said that is not my intent. Okay. Well, then don't <laughs> I, fucking I call people it. Okay, can we talk about something else? I'm really, really, I'm sick of this conversation. Everybody focuses on this. I've got so many more interesting, like, everything else that I no, talk about is more interesting. Actually, okay, this, like, can you this, agree with me let's that, talk like, about you the could just let's stop talk calling people it? So, the, the, like, the idea is that idea then, idea if you didn't call people it anymore? The idea is that then, as you accumulate more crud, your soul ends up then um, becoming more, more, more selfish, and so then from from being um, a leftist, you, you'll turn into a, a liberal. So basically, that's that's the next step in the progression of of your soul degradation is um, you, you become a liberal after after becoming. Um, uh, you know, first you become like first you're sort of not much of anything. You're kind of like me. Then you become a leftist. Then you become a liberal. And then finally, you you become more and more sort of self centered and focus on uh, conformism to your tribe, to your group identity, and then you become a conservative. And then 
finally, you have acquired so much crud that you can't incarnate properly anymore, and then you become an unincarnable soul. Okay, and so, so like, like what wh what happens then is that your soul it can't incarnate, but it can be attached to other souls and to incarnated souls. So then incarnated souls have attached unincarnable souls onto them and they feel their trauma. And this is also how the Gorth can, can affect you. So the Gorth affects you by making your soul grades degenerate. <laughs> Hold on. And I gotta also stop then you on the Gorth it again. You. Scientology mm -hmm. calls it body things, but go ahead. Yeah, but it's, it's still not the same. It's still not the same thing. And then, then, um, uh, then what ha so what happened then the third mechanism oh wait uh oh hold on hey nathaniel are you there hmm might be from trauma that you've accumulated from a past life but more it's more from unincarnable souls so so Oh, my audio's out. No, I got you. I got you. My I'm audio? Back. No. Okay. Okay. So, so I did that a dumb that thing is, though. Um, I like turned off the that, laptop. That, that does most of the comms around did? here because I'm not as rational no. as you are. Hmm. So, so let let's see. Um, I mean, you got cut off for a good forty five so, seconds. Am I okay? Wait, is is stuff working? Is it working now? Yeah, everything's fine now. Okay. Okay, so w was that was that clear? I think was that. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I, I still I still okay. I kept talking. I, I didn't. I wasn't able to see that it wasn't working. No, is, no, is it no, working no, no. now? Well, that's not. That um, wasn't the problem. I mean, you got cut off because of my own stupidity. But that's not like why what you're saying doesn't make sense. Okay, so 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 that's that's anyway. That's my my reasoning. So that is that is how things. That is how it works, and um, so um, as you can see, well, I'm not, I'm not. So you're still the, among the sort of major political groups. You're still the least degenerate souls, right? Typically, whoa, on wait, so, wait, I mean, wait, 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 hold on, hold that. on. What did you, you just take, say? Your your souls are the least degenerate among most political hey, mainstream hey, political hey, ideologies. Did, did, hold on. Do you know that when people say the word degenerate, do you know what kind of people generally uh -huh. use the word de degenerate? Yeah, it's precisely the most degenerate people. That's the huge no, irony. No, no, no. It's you know the most degenerate people, people. Like, generally, will use that word to describe other people. Yeah, the most degenerate types of people. The sort of no, fascist no, 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 sort no, no, of. No, uh, no, 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 no. The the common use of that word. Who uses it the most? The word degenerate. Uh, like that, what I said, like sort of fascists and sort of yes. uh, chuddy conservatives. So stop types. describing yeah, other people as saying. fucking degenerate because you sound like a fascist. Yeah, I bringing back again to my stylistic fascism. My point, this, my this, point is that it's the people, about it's the people who call here. others degenerates that are the most degenerate. It's a huge irony. It's a huge irony. You use the fascism against them because actually they are what they call everybody else. This is the great thing. This is listen, wonderful. Listen, it's I'm wonderful. Not, I'm not. They are degenerates. Oh, oh, literally, they literally are degenerates. This is a wonderful thing. <laughs> okay, literally, it's Yo. wonderful. We've actually got a, a, a logical, rational, scientific theory no, to explain no, like, why. Hold on, hold on. Fascists and conservatives okay, on, literally on, are really degenerates. Hold on, can they you, literally. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. You <laughs> have decided mm -hmm. that the thing you believe or that you're pretending to believe. Mm -hmm. And to the delight of all, is uh, mm -hmm. rational. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's rational. It's the most. It's more rational than you. Again, it sounds irrational. Just like the no, earth but I'm going not, around I'm the not sun, convinced that like the, the earth going around the sun, that, it feels on, I'm irrational. Not, I'm not, it's I'm a not. feeling. It's like, oh, I don't like the feeling. It's kind of it feels irrational to me. You must be very rational, Copernicus, well, no. aren't you? You must be like, like I'm like, like no, yeah, mm. I'm not. I think it is the only thing that I will say is irrational is for you to believe that you're m the the most rational or a like more rational than a significant uh, number of your peers. <laughs> I just think that that's but like, I am. 
that seems I delusional. Am, but you can't say you can't tell no, just, like, can't just, like, the, just like just like just like in Copernicus's time people couldn't tell that Ra- Copernicus was more rational they thought he was less rational they thought he was a crazy one and they, they couldn't tell that he was more rational because they, they were also crazy people and like crazy you know it is okay yeah, my pardon um people with uh psychosis sorry so th- there were people with actual psychosis you said a little while like ago a that, and that to the I average be the that, average person you said a little while what? ago that that that, that it might be likely that I have psychosis. No, compared to me, because you're less rational. My point is that it's actually a, a I, I sort of a scale. So the average person has a bit of replay. psychosis. I would challenge anyone Non-clinical. to watch the replay of this. What? What? To watch? Oh, you want me to watch the replay of this? Yeah, watch. Go back and watch the replay of this after maybe we're done here. And like, I, I can, I can imagine exactly what. Uh, oh, you got a subscriber too? How about you f- thank Ray Call for subscribing? Why don't you thank Ray Call for subscribing to my channel? Um. Okay, uh, thank you very much, uh, Ray Call or Ray Call. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Notice how I actually care about how I pronounce people's names. Um, thank you for subscribing with Prime. I don't know what that is. Uh, to since I don't have this, this these things to uh, Ecoplex Media. Thank you for um, watching and participating, and hopefully you'll be a wonderful uh, addition and contribution to this uh, community. You think yeah. Meat Roll One for following hopefully. us too? What? Thank Meat Roll One for following the channel. Excuse me. Oh, Meat Roll One followed. Oh yeah, Meat Roll One. Thank you for following it. Th- thank you for for following the, the, this channel. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do you know who Andy No um, is? What? Do you know who Andy No is? I don't know any of these people. I, I like I say, I don't know much stuff. Okay, I don't know much stuff. I'm the wisest person. I, I, and other things. And other things, I'm bad. Okay, and other things, I'm, I'm not particularly. I'm mediocre. And all other things, I'm mediocre. So no, I don't know. I'm just asking. I do not know. I do not know. I don't know much stuff. It thank doesn't matter. I'm still more rational and I'm more wise. Thank you for operating the hype. I'm, 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 I'm more wise. Okay. Thank, thank you for um, operating. And, and, you know, thank you. Thank you for operating the hype desk for my channel for a minute. Thanking people for following and subscribing might bring you on as a permanent co-host. Wait, yeah, I could do that. I could do that if, it, if like, I, was it, just I mean, I, I need anything. I'm desperate for any visibility. Okay, I'm absolutely Dude, I'm just desperate kidding. for I have women any. That, I have women. That oh, come you're kidding? On this of channel. course. I have women that come on this channel and they would not put up with you for five minutes. Why? 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 Why women? Why? Like that? I would say that as actually sexist to, to no, assume that like women sexist, somehow are, are cool essentially women. different and that they think differently. You know? Uh, yeah. I, I would actually contend that that, that is sexist. Uh, All right. Cool. Honestly, that's great. I mean, you but, should, uh, potential. You should, you should try to cancel Gay Dave for being a sexist. I'm sorry, Gay Steve or whatever it is. I'm not sexist. <laughs> all, all my best girls are like witches. <laughs> <laughs> Look, no, I'm not. I'm not seriously saying that you're sexist. Okay, my point is that I get called sexist and whatever and bigoted but, for all sorts you, of ridiculous reasons. You get reasons. called sexist oh. and like, like, uh, they they might be right. I'm getting this big like I'm right all the time vibe off of you, and I don't like it. Like you could do okay, really well, well to like disabuse. I'm getting you this also the, vibe uh, from you of sort of sort of typical lefty vibe of the with these sort of irrational. But I'm not even talking to you of, about like, politics. You know, yeah, but not even just about politics, but this idea precisely that precisely that like supposedly, you know, everybody's opinion is kind of valid. No, it's not valid. That's no, precisely why you're like talking isn't about politics. Valid. It's just that yours isn't extra valid. Well, like, uh, like you you must think that your opinion is extra valid compared to a conservative or else you wouldn't be streaming your stuff, right? So how is I'm I different? Mean, how am I different? You see what I mean? My opinion if, isn't extra valid against somebody who's like maybe a conservative, but be happy to defend my beliefs. No, I don't think that I'm oh, like so any different than like you don't I'm not think, I'm not extra special. You don't think your I don't have like faculties that the average person doesn't have. I don't believe that. But don't don't you think that you're more rational than like uh, the conservatives that you call out? Um don't you think that you have more wisdom? Don't you think you have more wisdom than these conservatives that you call out? I mean, I would say you do. People, I would like, say do that I you think have more I'm wisdom. smarter than Jordan Peterson? Well, yeah. But I didn't fry my brain with benzodiazepine and steak at the behest of my daughter for a year and a half. Like, but wait, I didn't say smart w- wisdom. Do you think you have more wisdom? Do you have more wisdom than Jordan Peterson? I don't know. He's seen some shit. <laughs> yeah, but that I don't consider that wisdom. See, I, I think that, that I, is I nonsense. That's a, probably like, that's 
I think that's that, not wisdom that, that, Like trying to quantify all this and trying to decide who has the Ooh, most somebody. Wisdom. Like I think this is all it's all silly. Okay, somebody just okay, okay. Um, you, you think it's silly? Well, in any case, this is not my, my point. Is I don't care what people like. You know, in and of itself, what what people think of me, or like you know how I'm remembered, I care or whatever a great that doesn't deal matter. What, what people matters. think about me? You know, th did you know that I care a great what? deal what people think about me? I don't want people to think I'm an asshole. Yeah, no, of of course I think about me, but my point is that compared to the the fate of the universe, what people think about me is a lot less important. Okay, so fundamentally, uh, I mean, emotionally, I of course, I'm attached am, to, to I'm what people think of me. I am the work that I'm doing here is fundamentally important to the fucking fate of the universe that's where we disagree yeah but but like it, 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 don't you think it would be cool if you thought that, like you thought it did so so like literally um literally um um yeah yeah this is a uh, this is a uh, my position and i'm so i'm doing this precisely because the the universe the universe uh, needs needs this the universe needs to get we get rid of the gorf we need to get rid of the gorf, the gorf? we need to create like first I, I, I a proper society I universal society the gorf means the gorf is this evil artificial intelligence that exists in the zeld and which is trying what to take my, over what it's harming chat? certain people creating if, enormous what if, suffering what if, what if and, you've come and, into and a wants space to take over that, the entire universe on. Hold on, what if you've come into a space that was specifically designed by the Gorth to distract you? What do you mean? Like, you have a mission what? to take down the Gorth, but here you are talking to me. What if the Gorth propped up my channel and gave me 49 viewers so that you would argue yeah. with me? You don't think I'm like a paid Gorth troll or shell? It doesn't matter. It gives me visibility. I, I, at this point, I just need more visibility. I need to have more. Everyone like, you know, more. watching this channel is part of the gore. It, it doesn't matter because they, they, they're, they're victims of the gore. They might be, they, of course, we're, they, you're all unwittingly sort of in some ways helping the gore, but you're victims above all of the gore. So, so like, uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we, we, have to, we have to help everyone. We have to save everyone from the gore. I'm sorry. I'm like a, a few rungs higher on your hierarchy than the gore. What, what? I didn't understand that. The Gorth takes orders from me. The Gorth takes... No, the doors... No. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just no. Um, yes, but, uh, Look, yes. like, and how about, how about the fact that, like, listen, like, everybody has wanted to paint me as this sort of evil, evil, um, I don't you know, think you're evil, person. yo. I, like, I, 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 I've just... You're not evil. I think you're out of your fucking mm -hmm. mind. Okay, well... Lots of people think that I'm both, basically. Um, oh no, I don't think you're, I, I don't I think you're evil. Point. I just think you're out of your fucking mind. Okay, well, you know that that I I can understand that people just like people thought Copernicus was out of his mind. Yeah, um, but you're not Copernicus. You know, sentenced to death. You think Copernicus was running around on people's Twitch channel, being like, "Oh well, people think I'm out of my mind." But have you ever heard of I don't know who invented the wheel? Pick a dude. They invented the wheel. Come on. <laughs> I don't know. There is no dude. We don't know the dude. <laughs> might have even been a lady and we said it was a dude because we're sexist mm -hmm. so, Yo, so copernicus like, wasn't running around complaining that no one took copernicus seriously come on this is like a new phenomena so so like i, I don't know Look, my, my point anyway is that people think that I'm, I'm this sort of bizarre person no like literally i'm oh i'm you're, like you're, focusing i i, like, I, I don't i don't dislike you as much as when you first came in here but you're a bizarre person okay okay i may be a bizarre person but i think you're bizarre precisely you're you're bizarrely conformist if there's bizarre conformism I, again I, because you've already started I, if i'm just you like started everyone your else, degradation but if i'm just like everyone okay. else then okay. so is everyone else like i don't know yeah but everybody the, is weird we're all like the same. You're, you're normal in the etymological sense of being in the norm like you're the majority that doesn't mean you're actually like that doesn't mean you're not weird that doesn't mean you're actually mentally healthy you're actually it's Whoa. a collective psychosis collective delusion uh, a mental uh unhealth yes uh that that is actually what, what oh, is, I just, what I is just going on i just think you're fucking bonkers mm-hmm mm -hmm. i think you're fucking um bonkers. No, notice, i like no, you though look, you seem notice, nice do, do you want me to discuss actual 
takes on, on my policies. Like, I don't know, I, I'm anti, uh, you know, physical violence, unless it's to defend people, right? There are lots of people that still defend things like torture or definitely like the death penalty. I don't support that. There's still schools. I just discovered today that schools in the United States are still uh, physically uh, punishing children. I don't support that. Um, what what else do you want me to talk about? Like, I, I don't support, you know, I support legalization of drugs. I, I, I do. Like, I don't think sending people to jail is a good idea. I don't think, you know, the, the horrible, like, cr crime that stems from the illegalization is a good I, thing. I, I feel Although like I have like, said that can, can if we, we want to be consistent. Aliens? What, wait, sorry? Can we talk more about what? the space aliens? You want to you want just talk about the space aliens and not yeah, about, yeah, like, like, uh, not like, about I wanted to policy? talk about policy before, but I feel like it's, like, more important to talk about the gore. Okay, what what more do you want me to talk about? The, like the floods? You want me to talk about the flood of a uh, mythology, no, right? The, the, the myth on, of the Tower on, of Babel on, and the flood. Like, how do I know? How um, do I know if the Gorth has taken over my Twitch chat? It, it's always it, it, like it's it's not like if it takes over or doesn't take over. It's always partly taken over. It it's, it's everywhere. It's, it's always influencing you all the time. Everyone, okay? It's everywhere. Wait, it sees wait, everything. Wait, it's wait, omniscient. Wait. That is where we get the myth of omniscience from religious? the Bible. That is. I'm actually half of the time not hearing you. Oh, are you I, th religious? I think you've got to go like closer to your mic or something. No, no, no. That's I don't know. That's probably a problem. Are you religious? No, I mean no. I, I never was. I never have been. I've always been anti-religious. I, I used to think. I used to think the Santa Claus oh, was actually oh, a bunch oh, of people oh, who who got Gorth, employed the by, Gorth, by the hold store on, hold on, hold to on. go into people's houses. The Gorth is a religion. No, it's not. Because it's it's not based on it's not based on revelation. It's not based on it's it's not based on this idea. It doesn't have this idea that you should have faith and just believe without without criticizing. Okay, my thing is is entirely based on on critical reasoning. Okay, like literally, that's why I didn't ever believe in any other religion previously because it didn't ever it didn't ever uh, like um provide a satisfactory explanation to what was going on. Then this this did provide a satisfactory explanation so hold on um, stop, stop, so stop again th that's like, why I believe like in it. this thing that you invented provided all the answers I, d I didn't invent it i didn't invent it i i, I found out about it from can philip, you give philip a shout goddard out to the person who invented the gorth yeah philip goddard clarity of being dot org i already i already did it twice philip goddard clarity of being does he have a youtube channel do i have a youtube channel no uh, yeah philip. Uh, it's, it's real re Oh, Philip, no, he doesn't, but he has his website. He has his website. Are there videos there? No, there's a bunch of uh, text. You just gotta, you gotta read, yep. Gotta read <laughs> have it. You ever, it's pretty, have you ever quite seen a bit the time of it, cube? You know what the time cube is? No, I don't know that either. I don't know Look any up of this the stuff. Time I'm not cube. cultivated, uh, and it frustrates me to not have culture. What is the time cube? Look up the time cube, it's funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, so anyway, I, I don't know, do you want me to, what, what, what was I even saying? So, the, like, there's evidence for the Gorth. Evidence for the Gorth includes all these supernatural phenomena that people are experiencing. Evidence that the Gorth is particularly intelligent is precognition. Precognition means that there's some force that's literally able to be so intelligent and know to just accumulate, gather so hey, much data yo, that's literally yo. able to exactly predict yo. the future. Okay, this is literally how precognition happens, which means that the, the Gorth is incredibly, incredibly uh, intelligent. Um, so, so, and, and then we know that's malevolent. Why? Because people actually experience nasty things sometimes. Uh, like they experience, sometimes they, they think they have like uh, entities, you know, they're trying to get them. And when they have positive, when they have positive interactions with like angels and good entities and stuff, well, they all, the, the stuff that they say is always extremely like trite and very, very like shallow. All, you never have like a very like scientific, you know, intelligent conversation with an angel. That never happens. It's always incredibly <laughs> Wait, dumb hold stuff. On. And this Did you, hold on, hold on, stop, stop. Mm -hmm. Did you just say that you never have a very scientifically intelligent conversation with an angel? Yes, I did. Right, cool. I did. Because angels don't exist. Angels don't exist. Oh, fair enough. They're okay, illusions. Cool. They're illusions. And but the point is that people think that they're having conversations with angels, but actually, actually, what is going on is it's that the, the gorth. gorth that's feeding them a vision of speaking with an angel, and a gorth that's also sp feeding them with all this crap that the angels are saying, which is never intelligent stuff. And again, this is great indication that it's actually not an angel, but actually a, a, a lure to get people sucked into sort of very, very silly and un unintelligent religious thinking. Th this, this is why. And and the, this is a great uh, sort of um, example of this. 
um uh, yeah, so so yeah this 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 is my my sort of rationale behind um you know if you need more explanation for why this fourth is actually what it is that this this is largely it and if you can find more stuff you can, if you read philip goddard you get a better understanding also of of what this is about uh, all right check this out i'm really glad you joined the discord but i'm gonna have to move okay on. Sure, sure. Yeah, th thank you for having me, and thank you for you know for taking so much of your time for. I hope your uh, chat enjoyed with me. this. Yeah, I, th I think they, they they enjoyed this. I mean, yeah, I think I think it's uh, you know hopefully hopefully everybody found this at least interesting, if uh, even if it, they thought it was crazy or frustrating or or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, I'm glad people at least I'm glad I had the opportunity to you I know mean, to like, have some visibility and this was a thing that happened, and the Gorth mm -hmm. couldn't stop it. Mm hmm Yeah. The Gorth couldn't stop it. This is true. But of course, the Gorth actually wants everything to happen. Like, everything that happens, unfortunately, at this point, is yo, it because the Gorth yo, accepts it to happen. Yo, check this so out. I'm going to play a video. Literally. You, you could come and hang out in my chat, but yo, I'm going to play a video. We, it's been okay. real and it's been fun, but it hasn't been real fun. <laughs>